Hey everyone, welcome to episode 65 of the Unity Gaming Podcast. It is May 15th, 2013, and I'm Richo. I'm Dan. I'm Sompy. And I'm Kumar. Woo! Did we, did we mess that up last time or something? Or we've messed it up like every time. I think time. it was two times ago. Some, some, but now by acknowledging it, we've messed it up. Now we've messed it up. <laughs> anyway, how we been Bam. doing? How, Bep. Bep. How's everyone been doing this Bep. week? <laughs> Bep has no actual context uh, at all. Yeah. Except for I don't even know us. why. I don't even know why I made you guys so happy. <laughs> it was a funny sound. Kumar makes the, the best. I've ever made the best sounds. Oh. Um. So how have all you guys been this week? Shitty work week. I was great until yeah. the catastrophe that happened on my street today. Oh. Do we want to... What, did you commit it? <laughs> like, is no, this like, why no, is it so bad? Do, do you... Do it, we... was, it was the weirdest thing in the world because this cop car pulls up and looks around. Well, on, do we want to explain cop. what it is before? Yeah, so it's... somebody got shivved in the throat on my street today, which is really, really odd because this is probably one of the friendlier parts of... The friendliest part of our city. So it in really Canada. doesn't fit. <laughs> and uh, so, like I said, this cop car pulls in, looks around... Like honks its or not honks its sirens, but turns its sirens on for two or three seconds, and then just buzzes off. And then two more cop cars pull in. They drive around, do the same thing, leave. Then a ambulance comes in, and then the CBC, like the CBC is one of the news channels here, rolls in with their news truck, and then all four cop cars come back. <laughs> Holy and shit! And sure enough, it was over the course of about three hours or so that this would happen, or that this had happened. And it wasn't until two hours after that that I found out there was also a fire on the street. Oh so, my god! What the fuck? I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here, and I'm like, what the hell is the likelihood and the chances that this would happen? Period. Let alone two of these things happening, and apparently it was arson. So, Jesus, so wow, random, fuck. so out of place. I feel like but anyways, the, the dude okay. probably like shanked the dude and then tried to walk away all cool, like flicked his cigarette and was like, oh, fuck, I've done two things. I'm out of here. <laughs> and threw, threw it into someone's hand. <laughs> yeah, accidentally. No, that's horrible. Stabbed that guy so hard he burst into flames. Yeah. And they, I mean, it was, <laughs> oh my they, uh, God. This is horrible to talk about. That's terrible. Yeah. The uh, person who got stabbed was 21. So it's like wow, it's a really young guy. Up. And yeah, I mean, you never want to see it happen to anyone, let alone someone who's a little bit younger, but. Now, I know you've Anyways, already described... this, is, this, is a, this is a real downer, so I don't want to get into this. I, now I'm curious, and I have to ask, did did he make it? I know he got shanked in the uh, throat. He was he was in. Uh, I mean, he was in critical condition, and he had no vitals when they showed up. But apparently, he's stable now, but still oh, critical. Good. Okay. So, I mean, at least he's not dead, right? I mean, could be much worse, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Wow, okay. Well, that, that's that's a happier ending to it. That's good. Yeah. I mean, it's not... Note, everything else was okay. I mean, the rest of the week's been going great. <laughs> Perfect. Video games, right? Now that guy can be like... <laughs> Video games, right? <laughs> no, now that guy can be like, oh, you want to threaten me? I got stabbed in the throat and I'm still alive. I have wicked scar. Like hero. <laughs> wicked scar, like right here. Yeah. Someone slit his throat, but he's totally cool. <laughs> I don't feel like that would go over so well. Only you would find the good in that, eh, Dan? I don't even... I don't want to be a part of this conversation. <laughs> Video games. Back, back, to, back to game. Well, Yay. actually, first, of all, how how were your weeks? How are you guys doing? Good. I have the I have the goddamn most shitty work week so far, but I can't talk about yeah, it because it's I work at a law firm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I hope that turns around for you, Dan. We had a great time with Valkyria recording episodes, but we can't talk about that because there's podcast. There's not podcast. Let's play videos. Still need to go out for that. <laughs> How was your week, Devin? <laughs> I'm not bad. Did a little bit of work at home. Went to a bakery. It was like the highlight of my week. Yeah. I got what, a U-draw tablet. What did you, what did you go to the bakery it. for? I've had it for months. I bought raisin buns and... Oh, I raisin buns. They had a special on homemade donuts, so I bought a half a dozen donuts. Well, they weren't homemade. They were bakery made. Yeah, well, they're real fucking good anyways, whatever you want to call them. They're fucking delicious. Delicious donuts. If you could choose, Devin, would you have donuts or these nuts? Definitely the donuts. Thank God. You are weird. (laughs) I was waiting. I was like, don't don't go with the other one. I'm not prepared. (laughs) You're not prepared. I not. I don't want to make this jump in our friendship here. (laughs) You have to at least take take (laughs) it out on a date first. Ugh, and we're done. So I don't think we've been playing many games this week. No, No, not really. I've actually... I I started getting into modding Skyrim pretty intently. So I'm surprised at the length that that you play it. Is that why all the the chick characters have massive dongs attached to them? You mean like this guy here? 
Giant. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, I started uh, getting into modding Skyrim, and it looks absolutely gorgeous now, and I have about 182 add-ons <laughs> installed. Jesus. You were playing with it before, though, too, weren't you? Yeah. Like, I was... Weren't you checking out a bunch of them? Yeah, uh, <laughs> that was like a month or two ago. I didn't really get that crazily into it as with uh, what I'm, what I am now. But oh, okay. it's a lot of fun. Um, I got uh, they one of the guys I follow put out a new patch for um, his better blood uh, <laughs> mod. Okay, so the blood has like crazy realistic physics That's really now, up. and it's all individually. All of the particles that come off of it are all individual objects as opposed to like a texture flying out of someone they're all okay when you say a texture i mean like you're stabbing <laughs> like a mountain is coming out of his face <laughs> i've made land these weird brick textures flew out of his throat when i stabbed him i don't think that was, that was <laughs> no but it, it looks real that's good that's what happened and like that every... dude got stabbed in the throat and fire texture flew out of his <laughs> i don't want to play this game throat anymore and set a nearby house on fire Oh, jeez. Which sweet. explains why all the cops were so confused. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, is that just some fucking shitty video game texture? Are we being punched right now? <laughs> they just leave. Oh, you yeah, guys good. Oh, but actually a guy got stabbed. Yeah. That's, Whoops. That's not good. That's not good. We better go back there. And somebody got, uh, someone's house got burned. That's not, anyway, back to video games. What other mods did you, other than blood and um, viciousness? I played around with a jungle one that turned Skyrim from a winter like crazy area to complete jungle. Was oh, isn't that the like Far Cry? That's... Yeah, it's like the, it's yeah. a Far Cry mod that turns Skyrim into Far Cry. It's pretty phenomenal. That sounds pretty crazy. I don't have it on right now, but okay. like all it's the like... trees are like palm trees. And does it just retexture the it... snow like grass? Like, yeah, it... like retextures everything. Um, all the little crabs are just coconuts with eyes. It's pretty <laughs> badass. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I've just been playing Skin around with crabs. that. Stab them. Ugh. Ooh. Oh. Ugh. 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 I don't like our sound. Ugh. Ugh. No, it's when he when he skins something in the game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. god. Oh fuck. <laughs> Far Cry. We're talking about Far Cry. You don't skin. Stuff. That was weirdly accurate, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I wasn't just making shit up. <laughs> I usually just used my hands in that game. I never picked up the machete at the start, so I was just like, <laughs> just just oh, tearing. God, that is yeah. atrocious. <laughs> Be so vicious to play a game like that where he's like, oh, well, okay, gonna use my hands. It's gonna tear this. Uh, anyway, I feel Oof. sick. So I guess all you've been playing is Skyrim, Devin? And Eve. <laughs> I got back into Eve real intently again. So that's because I'm working from home now. It's a lot of free time on my hands, which involves a lot of Eve and a lot of crazy stuff like that. So I know, I think out of, I've logged a lot of hours in Eve lately because okay. I've just been. Leaving it on the second screen, no, oh doing God. nothing but mining. Maybe, maybe you'll get an Eve trading card. Yeah, there that's are true. No Eve trading cards. Yeah, really? There why, are no, why aren't there? there are no trades. You can't trade cards with Eve. <laughs> trade card. You can't just. You can't just. You have to I buy want them to for Eve trade. You can't just grab the plex out of your Eve pilot license plexer and multiplex. Well, I hit my first million isk, so I'm stoked about that. How many real world dolls is that? I don't know what the market value is right now. There's got, there's got to be a conversion somewhere. Yeah. Well, you can buy Plex for I think ISK, it's 500 million. and you can also buy Plex for dollars. Dollar, so dollar. that's where you get the conversion rate. Yeah. I think it's, it's like... It's 500 million. Last, well, last time when I was playing... Like, I don't know. I'd years. have to double check it, but I think it was 600 million with a single ISK. So... A single... No, you, you mean, mean a Plex? single Plex? And single one Plex, Plex is one month? <laughs> you need... Yeah, which is equivalent <laughs> to $15. The... <laughs> so there's easy math there. I'm just going to... So I have get, get thirty dollars. Get out my calculator app on my phone. I have like one in a seven eighths. Oh, you say you reached your first billion or million? Yeah, billion. Oh, okay, I thought you said million. I was like, wait, this is no, no, no. I reached sound. my first billion. Okay, that doesn't sound right at all. But yeah, cool. Wait, yeah. your first billion? First billion? Oh, not Did million. No, hmm. no, no, no. First okay. billion. Uh, no, because it's already it's five hundred or six hundred million per month. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, that means you, you can pay for your next month for free. So Which, you can pay for your next month so you can mine for another month. Huh, it's fun. I've I've started <laughs> branching. He's just got to get a little bit more efficient every month, and then eventually he can... Well, I'm now yeah. starting to move into what's like called ice harvesters, and okay. you have to they give you a higher yield, but they take like significantly longer to mine. 
And so what, where did you say you were hanging out in the Eve sector? What, what were you doing? No, John, you, you got your mind on ice. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah but what's, your, what's your character name, Devin? Uh, it's uh, Richio. No, no, it's, it's Richio. Richio. <laughs> what does your ship look like? <laughs> it, it, it's the Richioer. How much cargo do you normally have? It's the Richio. Okay, that that's not even a number. Yeah, it's a new <laughs> new unit of measurement. I have thirteen Richios. How many is that for a plex? <laughs> <laughs> Quarter of a Richio. Oh, really, that's that, that's a plex. Oh, that would actually. I'm expensive. See that? If anybody wants me, I'm Dan, about six hundred million or a quarter. Of Dan, million. Dan himself is worth. I can't do this calculation because the <laughs> iPhone calculator only goes up. To Turn it sideways. I'm gonna blow your mind. Hold on, let me, let me Turn it pause. sideways. No. Turn it sideways. Turn it sideways. Dan. Can I put in another zero now? I think so. Oh yeah, I can. There you go. Why wouldn't they just keep shrinking if you, it? If you can't fit things on your iPhone, turn, turn it sideways. sideways. And then <laughs> throw it on the ground. Um. But uh, yeah, no, it's really about all I've been playing. So, Eve. so you have twenty five dollars in real world money. Wonderful. What are you gonna do with all that? Spend fifteen of it on a month of game time. There you go. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, actually. And then continue to mine more. <laughs> nice. Um, so what are you been playing, Dan? Uh, just this one fantastic Vita game called Rimmed Capsule. Rim, rimmed capsule. It's that new rhymed porno. capsule. Is it the most, I don't know how to most say rhyming. It. That porno game in Dragon Ball Z universe. You're playing a porn game. <laughs> it's a Tetris RTS. Whoa! whoa I know whoa, the game you're playing right now. Is it Tetris RTS? I was confused. Yeah, it's, it's, by this it's only well. on PlayStation Mobile. That sounds amazing. It's Five dollars. I will. I will. I will I'm pretty sure Dan's about to explain it, but before he does, I will say that no matter how he explains it, it is still not what you expected. Because <laughs> until you show it to me, I was like. That doesn't make any sense, but it does now. Okay, so, Rim Capsule, or Go. or Space Station. Thirty as it seconds. Directly translates to no. Fuck your pitch. Off. No, it's your pitch. You got. <laughs> your pitch in thirty seconds. So the game is a basic. It, it, it's wave defense, is what it is. But okay. it's it's uh, very minimalist in how it uses its RTS elements. So there's three resources in that game. There is food, there is uh, energy, and there's materials. Uh, energy generates from reactors that you build. Materials generate from extractors that you build, but you have to build the extractors beside uh, finite deposits of pink boxes. <laughs> I don't know. So right. it, it yeah. runs on pink, is what you're yes. telling me? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. It's a very it's a very minimalist <laughs> game, so everything is just color coded and Tetris shapes. God damn it, Johnson! We need more pink here. Yeah. Actually, that's the hardest resource to keep because there's only a certain amount of deposits on the map. So you run out, okay. and you're like, oh. What is pink used for? Uh, pink is used in every building. Okay. So so is blue. It's just different amounts depending on which building okay. you're creating. Uh, there's also food, which is used in the creation of weapons rooms and uh, quarters to okay. house more guys. So the way the combat in that game works is you build a weapons room, and it e- they each house two little stick men. And when I say stick men, they are just a stick oh, or a really? block. Sure, a block. They're yes. blockmen. They're very, they're very, they're very thin <laughs> rectangles. Blockman. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> fight to have the triangles. Actually, you fight triangles. <laughs> that's what Seriously? flies. That's what Did... flies at you and shoots your little. This is wonderful, blockmen. So we Dear just God. we just designed this game. Is no, what we just designed me. the intro song to it. Stolen from "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia." <laughs> <laughs> Um, Such a great song. Yeah. Um, It's all stuck in your head now. Yep. (laughs) But yeah, so... Can't even focus. (laughs) There's only uh, six types of buildings. There's a corridor, an extractor, a reactor. uh, Oh, maybe there's more than six. Corridor, extractor, reactor, kitchen, gardens, quarters, weapons. Okay. How many is that? Is that eight? I stopped. I didn't count. I didn't start. I didn't start. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't count. I didn't get to the starting part where you start counting. Seven. Okay. Nine. What? It's seven. No, he was saying no in, in German. It's seven. Okay, well, it's seven. No. Um, yeah, but yeah. then every different building that you build or... So the objective of the game, as far as I can tell, I don't know if there's more content to it, um, is to research these four monoliths that are placed around the map. They're in the same position every time, so I don't know if you unlock more levels or something. Okay. Um. But the game's really hard. Okay. <laughs> um, so you build corridors. So buildings can only be built off of corridors, not of not off of other buildings. Okay. So okay. you're building corridors out to these monoliths, 
and then you can assign your dudes to research them. Uh, you can also assign your guys to be on defense, and they go stand two per room in weapons rooms. Uh, they can be on food service, where they bring sludge from gardens to the kitchen to process it into food. Love me some food, sludge. Food from the kitchens to the quarters to create more guys. The quarters are to create two guys per building that you build. Um, Literally, you describing this now, I want to play Star Command on iPhone and like Prison Architects, <laughs> even though we haven't even played much of that yet. But, Anyways, this yeah. Rim Capsule's really simple game, and I've I've played it five times, and each session has been about an hour long, and then I lose, <laughs> and you, you start over. Suck. Why do you it, lose? What What are you doing wrong? I don't know yet. It's like if I knew, I would have beat it. Yeah. yeah, it's it's. I guess that is really what it is. It's like a a more involved tower defense yeah. game, like a resource intensive. Or, In yeah, terms of just more active, or well, you you have to you have to be mindful of your resources and where your guys are, yeah. and there there's there's always like the a little red bar at the bottom that fills up, and when it fills up, that's when the enemies attack you. And it's more and more per wave, and the waves start coming faster and faster. It's, so when you research each of the monoliths, it upgrades your stuff in some way. So one of them makes your guys move faster. One of them makes your extractors more efficient. One of them makes your uh, guys shoot farther, so they can shoot the enemies before the enemies can shoot you. Um, and then uh, the uh, last one makes the waves take longer to show up. So I think the key is getting that one as early as you can. Because that gives you more time to... Because I always lose on about wave 23, 24. Okay. And that's when they are <clears throat> literally like... The game always gives you like a siren a certain amount of time before the enemies are going to show up. And what that siren is, is if you move all your guys off their tasks to go and hide in defensive buildings, right when that siren hits, they will get there in time. And they will be alive. But the point where the waves get to at around the high, the low 20s is that siren goes off immediately as the countdown starts. And so you have no time to do anything. So you kind of have to be efficient or guarded enough to so have... So they'll eat you if, you if you don't already have the money. Yeah, exactly. You have, to, you have to be set up with enough guys on defense plus more to keep to let them keep gathering Doing resources stuff, and yeah. stuff. It's, it's tough. But it's really cool. It's five dollars. Yeah, did you mention the price? Yeah, it does yeah. sound real cool. I it's... put five hours into it, just trying it? to beat it. Yeah, and you said it was coming out to iOS or something at some point. They, their the website future. says that, but they just launched on PlayStation Mobile. Oh, so, okay. yeah, it's not. It's not a. Yeah, it's a PlayStation Mobile. So does that that means yeah, you can't play it on PS3. You use the touch only. There's no buttons. That's right. That's pretty cool. But it, that means you can get it on the Vita and other PlayStation Mobile phones. That slick ass fucking no. Um, I just love saying that word now. Um, what, what was? It's a really dumb Erickson little thing. But little PlayStation. I forget what it was called. It was Sony Ericsson Play or something. Yeah, really Xperia, like Xperia that? Play. Yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. That would probably play like poop on that though. Why? It's just touch Yeah, I guess game. it's just no. But I mean, like it's. It was, it's I was gonna say frame rate. Let's like, get that game. But it's just a little no. blocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just little blocks. Um. It is, but it has a really cool art style. And when I say Tetris RTS, it's because every building that you're building is subjected <laughs> to the like Tetris rule of this next shape coming up is what the building is going to look like when you place it down. So you kind of have to kind of work with that to make the best base that you can. And it's kind of cool. And you didn't even mention the music yet. Music's all right. I thought you liked the music a lot. <laughs> Music's well, ha- good. unfortunately, half of it is when dudes are attacking, and oh. it's just like a when that's happening. That so. sounds like a sweet dubstep track. Just bees. <laughs> well, no, imagine the noise that I made, but just monotone the whole time. Sweet Doesn't dubstep. Like if, it, if I was not making it, but a yeah. robot was making it, so they could just continue it indefinitely. You're just selling me on this dubstep track, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if when a song, a song had like the build up and then when it cuts to like the drop, if it was just like the first millisecond of the drop, just next five minutes of the song. <laughs> but it's too bad that that's the like enemies are attacking music because uh, the like not enemies attacking music is really good and atmospheric and it's nice. It's good. That's pretty It's cool. a good tr- tune. But uh, what the hell's the name of this thing again? This... RYMD Capsule. 
R Y M D. Yeah. Rim. Rhyme. Rim. Rim. Rhyme it. Rim it. Okay. Rim yeah. Capsule. I don't know how to say it. I've Weird. Never, I've never heard it's it spoken. Rhyme it. Okay. Maybe how do you like find a, out about this game, Dan? Uh, Kotaku posted an article about it, and it was on Reddit after that. Oh, okay. Just a couple of posts on the Vita subreddit. So. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what else? You been playing anything else, Dan? Or is that that's, pretty much? That's pretty much it. It's a dumb. Thing, I I know but... on the weekend all three of us. Well, no, I said I, all three I of us tried the fuse demo. <laughs> oh yeah, you tried the fuse demo. I'll try that as well. My experience playing it solo was really shit. I played it with Dustin Co-op. Yeah, so but that's... that was all right. And I, I, I died a lot. Yeah. Uh, the way I was putting it is it's pretty much like Army of Two except for with four people. So oh, okay. the optimal... Well, what it, I think actu- what it actually is is like a weird different third-person syndicate. Yeah. It, it, it Honestly, I do it's feel... It's weird in a way that I I prefer the weird the way syndicate is weird. Yeah. Not so much this way. Oh, uh, okay. A lot of the stuff seems to be almost... Not like directly, but... You can definitely tell that they wanted to continue on their idea that they had in Resistance 2 uh, with their crop there. Because you have like that shield kind of power, and you have. Uh... Which I have no idea how to trigger that. Really? Oh, whenever whenever you have the the main dude, I don't know what the hell his name is. Oh, that's his. Yeah, it's his, that's okay, his main right. weapon thing, and it fires out like ripples that just like melt people. It looks it looks really cool. But, so um... uh, we should say each of the four different characters are different classes. Yeah, it's and a, they well, all come with a unique. Was it like a nanite? Yeah, so it's a, it's a four like player co op third person shooter for three sixteen PS three. Um. It's really weird though. I don't know. Like, I play. If anybody out there wants to know anything about it, the single player seems really kind of not the way to go through it. But I think even with one player, the way Dan played it, uh, with one extra player, it could be fun as long as you're not going through it solo. But I think that game might actually be a like super awesome game if you have four. Friends. Well, the the nice thing about playing it two player, I think. Yeah. I, I think you'd either want to go with two or right up to four. Yeah. Because in two player, um, you can kind of both do your own thing and be playing together. Okay. But then if both of you die, there's AIs to come pick you both up. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, all right. Can you still swap between people in multi in when you're, when you're playing co-op? Like can you if you go down can you swap to another character? No. Okay. Okay. So that's single player only. Like. I guess so, yeah. I guess the second well, it goes that's kind of in... cool then actually. Or I don't know if you can do it when you're down, but you can swap um bef- like if you're dying a lot, you can just swap to another character character and be like, "All right, I'm going to start using the sniper chick or well, each character has their own uh, experience and yeah. level trees and stuff and skill points. That's why I think it could be cool four player co op. But the 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 one reason that I don't like four player co op games like that is where uh, each character is different, and I'm pretty sure if you play with your friends, you are going to you, you can't all be the same person if you there's like one no, character it, that it you locks, like. No, it yeah. locks them off. So if, yeah. so that's what I I don't necessarily like because maybe there's something that you'll want to play, and then your friend also wants to. And I don't know. Then you I, have to fight to the yeah, death. Like and I, then what I liked nobody about, gets to play. Yeah. But what, what I liked about Syndicate was that it was four different looking characters, but all of them just had the same skills or whatever they the hell you had. different yeah. stuff. So, Did you um, say that headshot? Yeah. Oh Yelling. God. But um, yeah, I don't know. Fuse looks kind of That's decent. the character I play as. That's why I know that. Yeah. I mean, uh, pick a sniper rifle. Fuse looks kind of <laughs> cool, but it's... I was not Fuse in Syndicate. No. That's what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah. But it, it's... It, it kind of plays weird. There's no aim assist, and it's a console-only game, so you tend to aim down the sights and miss a whole lot. But the aiming also feels like... Uh, I always compare it to Call of Duty, because Call of Duty has like that weird kind of... Uh, not really acceleration, and it doesn't feel like it's moving like each Call axis. Call of Duty plays well. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's, it's smooth, but uh, I feel like Fuse goes back to even... I compare the other one... The other way that I feel like some, uh, some games feel is Perfect Dark Zero, where it feels like each axis kind of can't move together or it just it feels like okay i gotta look left then up i can't go like diagonal or else it feels like kind of weird or just like this weird kind of stuck feeling and i don't know i was playing that and instantly i just didn't like it i was like oh <laughs> but yeah when you run around you're not like uh your character doesn't strafe they kind of like run around yeah like they, if you run yeah if you pull a stick back they will run towards Face the camera you. And that gives me like weird memories of Resident Evil Six, <laughs> and I didn't like that in that game either. I want third person games where I like. I want third person shooting based games where the camera stays over the shoulder, please. I I, I like Lost Planet. Like Gears, where you, yeah. Well, yeah, Gears where it's strafing and yeah. Yeah, 
I don't, like a first I don't like. Shooter. There's a. I feel like there's a weird disconnect when you, the character runs in a different direction than you're aiming. Oh, but I love I love that Lost Where Planet because you just kind of like weird, fire above like, him and like do some crazy. Yeah, shit. like in Lost Planet, it's just like he's <laughs> over his head and he's just shooting behind him. Just or like well, that's crazy. okay. I feel like maybe the camera's not pulled out enough in Resident Evil Six mm-hmm. and this game. Maybe not, but for where it's okay. In but, Lost Planet, the, the, like in both of them, the camera is just ass most of the time because you're moving through cramped quarters and like randomly you'll go into a building and it'll just cut off the camera or zoom you really close in. It's terrible. It's not good. I, I like it. Works in Uncharted though. Yes, it does. You just jump and shoot a shotgun in Uncharted. Really <laughs> sure. um, but it has it has that kind of like I'm gonna aim down the sights and it pulls in right in close to like yeah. his shoulder. Yeah. And then you get out of the sights and it pulls all the way back out. Yeah. So it's I feel there's like, some uncharted climby things in Fuse yeah, as well, which is really very weird. Very basic though. But but shitty because if you play cooperative you can get you can't in. jump because the Yep. Yeah, that was <laughs> Fuse seems like something that'd be really fun to wait for maybe like discounted and then play with your friends. Because I think even if you four pay... people buying it for forty dollars is probably yeah. the but 69 yeah. or 59 bucks 60 bucks for i don't know the other weird thing is that just, like it could be amazing it could end up being fucking like the craziest game of this yeah, year maybe but, uh, for co-op but. the other weird thing about me thinking no about either. buying that game is that i had to do some weird fucking router nonsense to get my xbox to connect to parties and stuff oh weird and it doesn't save when i do that so it's like every time i turn on my xbox i have to do weird shit Messed up. Wow. Sounds yeah. terrible. So that's I kind of don't want to get it for Xbox, and then I don't like playing games on my PS3 that aren't PS3 exclusives. Oh, okay. And it's not coming to PC, so it's just yeah. Just I, like, I, that's the, actually you know, that's the first thing I, I checked whenever I played the demo. I was like, that looks like it could be fun. Maybe if I get it for like cheaper on like Green Man or something. So I was like, oh, I'll go check the PC version. How much? Oh, it's only multi-platform on consoles. I was like, oh, because that would have probably fixed my aiming issue. <laughs> just not have a sludgy controller. But um, I also yeah, I tried know. the Resident Evil Revelations demo, which I th- still think was awesome on 3DS. Just consoles, no. it's good. Yeah, I mean, it controls like a fine Resident Evil game. In fact, it probably controls better than like four and five. Yeah, and like there's animations built in, but at the same time, they upresed certain things and not other things, and it kind of. It's really they up-res easy. your character, but not the environment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah does no, it have breasts? Yes, up it. There's the camera always Adam pulls in in such a weird way that you always see Jill's butt in like every oh. different shot. Also, maybe that's actually where the center focus is, <laughs> just on her ass. There's not actually. You, that's why of everything looks shitty or yeah, it's it's just like you, zoomed in on her ass. All right, that's our focal point. That's our selling point. It's gonna make million. Could you imagine doing like the aim down the site where like you have like the laser? targeting except for it goes to like her hip with just like ass cheek and just like not even the proper like arms like you see the laser kind of pointing you're like capcom what the fuck is he like, <laughs> we understand what you're trying to do here but please you just don't implement we, it please we, we don't need this shit um, um but yeah there's like in interactive objects that you can walk up to and there's like a circuit board and they kind of did the like Oh, we'll just put one wire out of this thing, and it's sparking. But then the rest of it is just a shitty flat texture. Is is it a budget? Wonderful three D rendering, amazing. But because it's Resident Evil, when oh. you like investigate something, it does the weird like camera angle to look at the thing. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like totally focusing on this shitty texture. I know it's a mobile like port thing, but, but it, come on. Is it a back? Is it a uh, wow? I fucked up the name. Budget price game, or is it a full price? It's fifty dollars. It's fifty dollars, so it's like half budget, half. Yeah, it's wow. ten dollars cheap. Ten bucks right? off is what it is. Yeah, but that that's sucks. not. Um, the thing is that I feel like the, I guess the shooting's okay, but also I didn't have to do a lot of it because they made the knifing in that game really good. So you just keep pressing knife and circle strafing around guys, and they can't fucking do shit. Because their attacks are like weird, low, slow, lumbering, like swings of their right arm. So if you just strafe I, around I, to the left, they're fucked. Like, I forget if there's difficulty modes on the 3DS version. I remember actually having. Okay. Yes, whenever, there are difficulty there are, modes. Okay. Yeah. When I played it on the 3DS, uh, I remember it actually becoming really tough. I know in knifing you could do it to the starting dudes, but it quickly became something that was like impossible to do. Um, but even, even though in the console versions, if they didn't upres certain things and it looks like ass. I still feel like the story and the actual gameplay in Revelations 
is maybe more interesting than like five and i can't say for six because i haven't finished it yet but that probably also it's just for that. Go, it's it's like a weird thing yeah. it, it feels weird oh, looking oh, at that sorry. game the because game. the character models look so goddamn good what? and everything else looks like garbage it's just a weird like strain on my eyes but i i wonder but it does like the fact that jill's butt is in every shot and that's the only thing more. that looks good in the game is her character model so it's like this weird like i what am i playing here exactly <laughs> Whenever I saw looking simulator, I've seen some comparison videos and stuff. It doesn't look horrible, horrible. I mean, it's noticeable, but it's not horrible, horrible looking. At least in the comparison videos that I've seen so far. But what I would like to know is on the console versions if they saw that like next time on Resident Evil, and then it like cuts to the other chapter. I don't know because that this demo, time, that demo, yeah, was, like, I know five seconds. That, that's why I'm hoping. I I, I would like to know. If I'll they tell you, I I ran down this hall. And then I ran down another hall, and then I ran down another hall, and then I killed an enemy, and now there's enemies as I ran back down that hallway, got a key from a fork in the path, then went all the way back to where I started and opened a door and the demo ended. I killed like five enemies the whole time. Wonderful. But the first one with a gun right and the rest of them with knives. But uh, no, cause what was weird about the 3DS version is that every time you'd finish a chapter, it would give you a next time on, and then you'd start the next chapter and it'd give you a previously on, and then... Recompletely do everything. They kind of did like Wait. a weird, like, the way the demo ended. I, I described the part to you. I don't know how early that actually sure. is in the game or whatever. But right after the, like, the dude shows up in that room that you unlock. Yeah. It kind of just cuts to, like, a crazy trailer thing. Yeah. Like, right out of the game. So I don't know if that's just, like. No, that's, that's still, that's not in the middle. Of, that's, like, right in the middle of the chapter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, I, I'll be. Because that seems like something that's really the, awesome the on a mobile. The models do look really good, though. Yeah. But that, that seems like something, what I was talking about between the chapters, it seems like something that'd be really cool to have on, like, a, a, a handheld device, like a 3DS. But I think if you or were Vita. to... Wa- or Vita. But I think if you were to watch that on a big screen and be like, why the fuck did it just give me, like, a next time previously on? And every time I start up the game, it's telling me previously on. Like, I wonder... I don't know. That was kind of cool on Alan Wake with the episode, yeah. like, things. But... Yeah, but I... I, I I'd like something like that. That's okay. Yeah. You, I don't know how... I, I wish that was in Resident Evil 6 because I haven't played Resident Evil 6 in like five goddamn months I don't know and I don't remember what happened. Yeah. The thing about Resident Evil 6 though and was, it was in some complete... weird lab thing. You never even played uh, uh, Wesker or Jake whatever. and Sherry's. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, the thing about Resident Evil this, this game contrasts Resident Evil 6 so intensely that Resident Evil 6 has like what? Five levels per character each one spanning almost an hour to five two? Five chapters, yeah. Yeah. And, then, and this yeah. one's like every chapter I think is probably 20 to 30 minutes long. If you like, just How many roll chapters through in it. the game. Uh, I can't remember. Hmm. No, I spent like you had ten hours in it, and I think there was about. Actually, I don't know. Maybe there was 20, 18, 20 chapters. I can't remember. I can't remember if I just hit over ten ish, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, or if I got to way farther than that. Hmm. But I remember at least the length between each chapter was really good. It was like the amount of time before I was like, okay, my hands are cramping. This is kind of starting to suck. It was like, oh, sweet, it just ended. Perfect. All right, let's watch this video. Let's put this thing down. Let's pick this up another time. You know what sucks Remember. about your experience with Resident Evil 6? What? I, I got a taste out of everything. I finished the third chapter of every campaign. Yeah. You finished all the Leons and got some way through Chris's, right? Yeah. Jake and Sherry's is the best campaign out of those three so far. Man. Chris oh. is in second, as far as I'm concerned. What? That one's so crazy and action and just <sighs> weird awesome. It's not Resident Evil at all. Yeah. But just a shooter? It's It's a good game, is what Chris's chapters are. After playing and Leon's Leon. is just like, what the fuck am I doing? I have a pistol. We just have to run through this goddamn dark cemetery. This is shit. Well, the thing is, with, when you get with, with Leon's, the farther you get, you get like. There's all this weird character development for a character I don't even fucking care about. There's some interesting stuff in the Leon. I I think so far Leon's campaign was like way was so much fun. The farther you get into it, I was like, holy fuck, this is so good. And uh, I think starting Jake's Chris's, is where the the money is. Yeah, well, I'll have to try that at some point. I really want to go back to it. I actually had so much goddamn fun. With we Ghost both own that 6. game on Xbox. Yeah, I have to play with never, my brother though. Yeah, and I have to, I want to play with uh, another dude. That sounds weird. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. One day I'll go back to Resident Evil Six. But I don't. I would like to know how Revel- Revelations is actually going to uh, be well, for the, I, I, the raid I will, mode. I will give. Resident Evil Revelations credit it makes me makes me talk about Resident Evil Six more and makes me like kind of want to go back and finish Resident Evil yeah. Six just so I can say I finished it. But but uh, one day I'm definitely gonna pick up Revelations because the raid mode seems really sweet. I'm probably gonna get it on PC at some point. And it's probably gonna be during some sort of Steam sale or something because I can't 
justify pay, paying 49 bucks for a game that I want to own a second time, but on a different console with more content ish. So somewhat yeah. more content. But anyway, anyway, you played that demo. That was a lot of talk for a demo. Um, well, I mean, we talked about Resident yeah, Evil 6. And stuff. So. Yeah, it's fine. We talked about Resident Evil. Anything else you've been playing, Dan? Not I can't that think. you're I not going to oh, talk about. All of us on the weekend played some more. PlayStation uh, All-Stars. Battle, Battle Royale. Royale. Yeah. That, that was actually the first time that I'd played uh, multiplayer, so that yeah. was fun. That was really cool. And a really high-level Kratos. <laughs> and once again, it... it, it <laughs> I got really good <laughs> with him, actually. But... Uh, did you beat like all the... Oh, I guess you got a platinum, so you probably did all the challenges with Kratos to get yeah, that trophy, sure. right? I think so. I can't remember now what it was. Like I did, I did that, and then I, I finished well, one off of, One uh, of the silver trophies is like... Well, so. well, did you... You completed Soul Sacrifice, or you are finished with it? No, like I completed it, finished it. So I have a platinum in that as well. So oh, wow. I did okay. everything right. that Jesus. I... Jesus. Yeah, I did everything I had to in that as well. I, never multiplayer. I shouldn't say had to. I mean, I didn't do it because I had to. I, it level now. I actually got the online pass, and multiplayer is... Uh, is actually a whole lot more enjoyable. I, I complained a little bit to you guys about how terrible the AI is in that game. Yeah, you played way and too far ahead of us to ever play multiplayer with us ever again. I well, no, I can that. still. Uh, it'll scale. From what I understand, it'll scale for me, but not for you guys. If we play low, like if we play some of the uh, like your attacks so do say, less say damage. We, say, well, say we Kinda. say we play a pact that you guys are on that is earlier, that is much earlier on. Okay. Then, from what I understand, it'll scale for me, but it won't scale for you guys. Okay. It kind of is like a Dead Island Riptide thing where it's like we all yeah, kind of want the same. But well, I don't know if that's Dead the case. Island like I haven't tried that, yeah, so I, I really don't know. But uh, man, does that game get seriously difficult after a while? I've been really enjoying the storytelling in that game. It's getting like really fucked up. I don't understand what's going on, but this is really messed <laughs> well, up. I think you and I are realize... pretty on par in yeah. levels, so we could actually play some co-op stuff. Yeah. But... But, I made 99 and 1, so... <laughs> wow. Or sorry, 1 and 99. I'm a level 1 and 99. Uh, 99 wow. in Magic? For yeah, for that sacrifice. That was my... Do you my have to be... Payment. Is it total 100? Is that the max level? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, combined. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was easy, so, but no. And uh, without, without spoiling anything, something happened to my character when I got to that point. Okay. Which I, I think I, I kind of have spoiled for you guys. <laughs> you, yeah. You'll probably see it in the, in the message that I sent well, you can you? Uh, I saw it. It was fantastic. Can't you go to level zero? Couldn't you be at zero one hundred? No, it doesn't let you, you sure? lower your uh, like you can't you cannot be level zero in any of in either of the levels. Oh, that's too. So bad. you have to be at least one. You can change it however you'd like. Like it can be any combination of that. Yeah. Like I, now, I now that you've that done combined. that, which was my eventual eventual yeah. goal, I kind of want to do like ninety nine and one. Actually, it's it's I, I'll be so terrible I at attacking, people but who had, who had done the the opposite of what I did. Yeah. And it it compliments each other so well like to have someone in there who is the opposite of you can uh, can be such a lifesaver because their health is crazy and your attack is crazy so you can I guess it's kind of like having like a tank and a yeah. dps yeah pretty much classes and the neutral guy is kind of well i guess neutral's tank because they got more health yeah neutral's divine tank is healer and then dark is but, dps but, but what if you just have four yeah. people who are just one to 99 like kumar and you just go in there and you're like Bam! All right, that fight's over. Let's just go ahead. And <laughs> well, the thing is, you you wreck people really quick. Like there are there are missing missions that took probably forty minutes or something to complete. Yeah. Uh, by myself when I was playing with the AI kind of thing. Okay. And the AI does really really minimal damage. And now when I go back to do those same miss missions, if I go back and do them, I finish it in like a minute and a half or something. Something stupid. Wow. So you start Holy... doing so much more damage. It's ridiculous. That is beastly. Is absolutely beastly. Um, but again, like I said, like if you guys want to go back and finish the packs just for the sake of the completion side of it, yeah. then uh, I mean, I think I can do it without ruining it well, for you. I think well, me on, and Richie are let, kind of letting that game last. Let's We're just slowly playing it little bit by little. Bit. Let's just take yeah. this back, take this back a notch. I think I'm not going to play with Dan anymore. Fuck that guy. I think I'm going to just play with Kumar, <laughs> and that means when Kumar insta kills everything, I get all the souls. Don't have to worry about sharing with Dan. <laughs> so it'll be perfect. Except if you're trying to get your divine up. All my soul. <laughs> Kumar's yeah, I guess vicious so. beast of a character won't allow it. Just punishes everyone. Sorry. Maybe I'll try and stay neutral. Could Maybe you, I'll try and get 50 Could you imagine if Kumar were to come into my game with 1 and 99, so 99 and the like evil, whatever, yeah. suck, sacrificing side, and I go to actually uh, not sacrifice, but do the other one? Save. Save, and then Kumar's character is just like, I can't allow no. that. Versus. <laughs> and then it's like, you. what? Oh, no, I don't want to kill Kumar. And then, well, I wouldn't be able to. But. I actually think a versus mode in that game could be pretty cool. Yeah. It would be, but man, like the it would the game really change so much what's... from the really really high repetition. 
Oh, like well, I see, I see. Well, it the now other thing is, it is a mobile game, right? Yeah. That's why I'm enjoying yeah. it because I'll turn it on, play like two packs, and then turn it off. Yeah, I love... even, even then though, like you'll you'll see it maybe after you complete it, you'll you'll start to see it. But and it's not a. I'm not saying this is a from a bad point. I'm saying it like I I want more stuff. Like it would have been a lot more fun to to have a little bit more variety in it. But uh, I think they've they've paved a really really nice there's there's or they've paved a nice way for a nice sequel if they so desire to do that. There's going to be a bunch of free DLC over the next couple months. Yeah, the one thing that bothers me about it that just game, adds more enemies. Which and... really interesting. I'm, I'm hoping that. They... <laughs> wow, your voice got <laughs> crazy yeah. there. Um, Sky... sorry. <laughs> the one thing that I the, okay, if if they add more enemies, that would make me really happy because yeah, it's, I, it's more I'm enemies, not... more bosses, more. Uh, offerings and more costumes. Cool. Each the, one's the, a little bit of each. Okay. Well, what 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 I'm afraid of is that uh, I I don't even I don't. Kumar has already finished the game. I'm barely scratching the sort of surface of the start. And uh, what are your levels? So I don't know. I'm like fucking six and fifteen, sixteen. So you're even you're farther than me even. I think. Oh, I'm I'm like twenty four and sixteen or something like that. Okay. So anyway, um. What what bothers me is going into For the mission. I should say. Okay. What, what bothers me is going into the missions, and uh, there's this certain boss which I've seen like fucking five times now, and every time I go into it, it's just like the most it's shitty the fight. Lantern. No, it's it's the big old slime sludgy thing with like four legs, and it starts like pooping shit everywhere, and you have to cut. There's <laughs> oh, two legs fuck. that can cut off really easily, and if you attack enough, it'll just freeze. I'm like, are, are you still like, fucking fight again? And then I don't know. See, I. You played all the packs, single player. No, that's what, no, that's what I'm doing. Is I'm doing the. Uh, I've only ever since he told me about the storyline. I've been doing the storyline, and so far in that storyline thing, it's popped up four times, and I'm oh, just like, really? I'm getting so fucking angry. It's like, uh, because what happens is I usually play that right before going to sleep or whenever I'm rendering, and I have like 30 minutes, so I'll just go in. I'm like, oh sweet, having some fun, having some fun. That boss comes up, I'm just like, I fucking, I fucking hate playing this goddamn <laughs> boss. Because it's Why? just, is it difficult? It's getting more and more difficult because they do more and more damage, and it's just like it's just and like they a, have more and more health. Yeah, and it's it's like oh great, now I gotta like use my ice sword thing for even longer now. Do you guys do you guys focus your elements, or do you get try and get a little bit of each to play weaknesses? What do you? I'll, oh, uh, I'll, I have a bit I'll put of it each. this way, Dan. There was a mission that I actually had to go in, and I had to use one of every element. So that's all I'm going to say about that particular boss fight. But uh, you can you can cause a lot of damage, and this is probably a tip for you guys, but. If you you know how you if you cast enough of a particular element, you'll inflict that element on whatever yeah. enemy. It yeah, is? that's so, why I focus ice because you eventually get it like it's called deep freeze or something like well, that. Well, if you so, so say you and ice. Richio say you and Richio are, are having problems with a pact or something, or you go in and you start fighting something together. Yeah. If you went in ice and Richio went in fire. thunder, for example. Oh, okay. Well, no, you shouldn't or, go fi- fire, fire because it's if fire. I if do the deep freeze, fire takes it off instantly. No, but if you do fire and you yeah, hit it with ice, thing, it's like a fucking explosion that exactly. instantly kills all the shit. So here's here's the way what? that it goes. So I can I can. Kill one of those sense. slime things in about forty seconds, like yeah. the harder one. Yeah, I know. So the way I do it is, I have one of every element. So I'll, I'll light it on fire. I'll hit it with ice. I'll freeze it, and then I'll hit it with thunder to break the ice. Yeah. And then as soon as it gets shocked, you use stone. And then as soon as it's stoned, you use the uh, like the grass element or, or venom. Sorry. And so that messes shit up really, really quick. So if you start focusing on two different, so for Dan, if you like ice, if you take something, if you take one. Like throw a weapon with that. That's fire. That's after or sorry, that's thunder. After you freeze them, just use that, and it'll do a bunch of damage right away. And that's so. The only so there's so there's elements going one way cancel each other out, like hitting an ice thing with fire. But going the yeah. other way, they do a lot of damage. Do a lot of damage, huh? That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So that and that's how you start having to play. Like so, some of the harder stuff where you're fighting two of the hardest things in the same uh, in the same. I mission, got um. I got a lightning need charge. From uh, the PlayStation Network, like yeah, they I'm did. Really a, they did like a it. free offering. Oh, really? Thing. Yeah. You can. Uh, they have a bunch of codes that work for like. A Actually, bunch uh, of speaking games. of PSN, you guys are gonna laugh at this. I got a. Uh, I got a message from the from the PlayStation Network today, and uh, it was entitled "Your Gift Warrior." <laughs> so I go into it. I'm like, "What the hell is this?" It's a. Uh, it's a double XP thing for I think one hour for God of War Ascension. <laughs> Oh, Seriously? you need to go spend that? Like, I was like, "Yep, delete this shit." Not using this. <laughs> <laughs> you can send that off to friends. I would have taken that, and then one day, like maybe next year or something, when I'm looking at my pile of games, I'm like, "Why do I own this? Let me put this thing back in. Let me test it out." Then yeah, I actually um, there's, laughed there's really so hard, much though. dust on this pile. Yeah, this game feels gross to hold. Don't put it back. Um, but uh, wonderful. Uh, what should we call it? Um. 
I still really want to play more Soul Sacrifice with you guys because I was the multiplayer stuff is so much fun. What do we? What do we? Should learn? just D level. We, we learned that Soul Sacrifice is decent to play. At least Dan and I learned that because <laughs> I don't think you had your online pass whenever we played. And no, then, I didn't. And then I got tired. Yeah, of we the were AI. like, hey, let's oh. just play for twenty minutes. Yeah, play fucking 40. like an hour or something. But so so we learned we learned we learned that Soul Sacrifice is pretty sweet on the Vita. We learned that Battle Royale was really good on the Vita, and then we learned that uh, <laughs> Wipeout, Wipeout is out. total fucking garbage. Oh really? Oh man, that multiplayer is broken. I got so angry. Like I got, I literally was so <laughs> psyched coming out of Battle Royale, and then let's uh, try some other stuff. Oh wait. No, there isn't can't. shit. But oh, God. I, I went in and I was like trying to pause it. I'm like, how the fuck do you get to like controls or something? And it wasn't like there was there was like no, it didn't work or I don't know. I couldn't figure out what the fuck was going on. And then I was just like, I was like angrily texting Dan and Kuma. I was like, what are the what are the buttons? What are, how do you turn around? Like what is going on? And I was just you were actually frazzled. I've never seen you like that. I was like, I put down my veto. I was like, I don't, I have to, I have to quit. I have to quit. So I just I just oh hit the, God, the veto button and just like. Close the app. Fucking I was getting ridiculous. so angry. I was like, I don't, I don't know why it's really frustrating were. me. I don't know why it's frustrating me. I just fucking hate this game right now. And then I played the single player, like you guys said, and I was like, this is really good. I know. <laughs> I was, For such a good so single player so racing good. game, um, the entire online multiplayer so, component of that is total garbage. Actually, while we're here, yeah, I want to boot it up in ad hoc and see if so, you can just pick races like that. So hold on, let me let me just yeah, let should, me should no, no 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 no. Mine's upstairs. Whatever, but we'll do it after. No, I'm not saying right okay. now. Okay, I thought you were like moving yeah. your mic and like getting into it. No, but anyway, um, what what's really fucked about the Vita version's multiplayer online multiplayer is that. It throws you into. It says it's a it's a multiplayer it's campaign. It's an online campaign. Yeah. So you don't get to choose your level. You just get thrown into a lobby. If you have friends playing, you'll get thrown into their lobby. You don't get to choose. Or you shit. wait for their or lobby you wait to be for open the, for multiple minutes, like five or more minutes. Yeah. And then it loads you in, and it clearly picks like horrible hosts, and you have no choice of the game type. So us, we got into some battle mode in this really weird sort of I don't even just know. like really circular track. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was so <laughs> it was so aggravating. But with like a random person we didn't even know either. Yeah, really. It was yeah, there's, there's dominating. So much just like kicked you into a yeah. somebody's game. Why don't you understand? Like I, there was a fucking score thing on the top right of it, and it was like, oh, well, you have you, one didn't, point. Didn't you and I play a game together though? Like, didn't you get thrown into one that I was playing in? Yeah, well, Dan was in that one too. We yeah, all got thrown we into all were it. In that okay. one. Yeah, but the thing is that we we. We load it in, and that score is like, you have one. You have one point. You have one point. And I'm going around shooting. Like, I'm trying to shoot people. And I'm like, look at that Dan. He's got like 20-something Kumars up there in like the 15s or something. The other dudes, like, got like 40. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I'm just, I'm just like, <laughs> how do you, what am I supposed to be doing here? And I just, I couldn't. It's really hard it to believe how completely inconsistent the multiplayer is in, ter- in comparison to the uh, to the single player, though. Yeah. It's still so hard to believe. It just doesn't make any sense. I, I actually, I can't believe how awesome that single player kind of like felt. <laughs> and it and it's like yeah, a cool yeah, UI the game and looks like this, really good yeah. and there's awesome music playing and you were just yeah. gunning it through these tracks and I turned on like the the actual because uh, there's one oh, that's like, like true wipeout yeah whatever. where like yeah. each bumper or each trigger actually on is the like, Vita is, is like pulling is, brakes yeah and the, stuff the and left like, air yeah. brake the right air brake and having to do them together to sl- yeah, yeah. I play that way and I, I had a blast I was just, I turned it to like arcade controls yeah, so it's just, just like slop, the stick slop. turns it yeah stop yeah oh yeah yeah but um. Yeah. Anyway, what did we try any other multiplayer games, or was that pretty much that was it? Well, that's well, there's nothing else. No, it's right. We're waiting for Blaze Blue or Blaz Blue whenever that comes that's out going for free this month. That's right. Nice. Yeah. Um, oh, that's yeah. like a serious like I'm technical two D fighting game. <laughs> Splunky's gonna be amazing. Oh, what if there's multiplayer in that? You guys. Oh, that'd be phenomenal. Oh, I like that game. Oh, oh. Anyways, I'm gonna not. Um, Kumar, what have you been playing? I know you kind of uh, just pretty already... much just those two. I uh, I played a little bit more Wipeout as well, and I did try a multiplayer match just on my own to see what it was like. Yeah, and uh, was it a race? yeah, it's just as broken. Well, was it... it was a race, but okay. even then, like the it just ta- it takes so long to get into a match, and I I don't get why you can't just build a lobby or or join someone's lobby, especially after playing uh, uh, All Stars or sorry Battle Royale, where, where it's just like well. invite go perfect yeah, no lag, which is just amazing. so simple. Yeah. It it makes the entire wipeout thing seem so much worse than it is, and it's bad. Don't get me wrong, but it makes it seem so much worse after you see something that works, right? Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, I, I I tried that out, and then I was like, yeah, screw this. I'm happy with the single player, so I'll go back and I'll play that. Uh, that's a lot of fun because you just you race, you know, three or four races, and then you're done, and you're you're happy for the time being. Yeah. So played a little bit of that. Played more All Stars. Uh, played more Soul Sacrifice. Played a little bit more of that Mutant Blobs Attacks game. Cool. Which is a lot of fun gonna work your way other than that though Guacamelee. i mean nothing new all right yeah nothing nothing else new nice. um 
Battle Royale is a whole lot of fun. Yeah, that is a lot of fun. It's a good game. I didn't know. Uh, I really didn't know that I was going to get hooked to it, kind of like I did. So, um, so me on the weekend, um, I, okay, let me. Last week, um, I tried playing. I was doing a, a cast, and people told me to try out uh, Neverwinter Online, which is a new MMO that came out, at least in open beta. And uh, it's another one of those kind of trying to be like Terra and Guild Wars, where it's actiony. Uh, it's not so much like, oh, I just hit these things and stuff will cast. You just don't target. Uh, yeah, there's like a crosshair on screen and you move and you dodge and you do all that fun stuff. Um, and when I played it on cast, I didn't really have much fun. I was kind of skipping through it. I didn't really get into it. And I was like, oh, this is kind of, this is okay. It's not that fun. Um, but uh, I went back to it this weekend. And I think, I forget how long I sunk into it. I, th- I want to say throughout the whole weekend, I think I put like eight or nine hours into it. Uh, I played, and one of those times was like a five or six or seven hour, like I played one hour, let's say on Saturday and then like seven hours straight on Sunday. And I just had to have more. Um, that game ended up being really, really fun, which was super surprising. I think I'm like level 15, 16, 17 or something now. But what's um, the biggest part of that game for you? The biggest part of that game is really stupid and it reminds me of Eve. Actually, I hold just, on, building up to that. Really, wait, really wait, quickly, wait. speaking of something stupid, yeah? the ad hoc is exactly the same as online campaign. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Phenomenal. Because um, I went to create an ad hoc game and it was just like, okay, you're playing combat this on the stadium. Wait for other players. I'm like, gross. All right. Fantastic. Um, so, Thanks, uh, never went to online gives out all its gameplay elements very slowly, which is really cool because it slowly introduces you to stuff. I'm going to get to the thing that Dan's talking about in a little bit, but... So, uh, when you hit level... I don't know. You start off, you just have, like, dodge. You have, like, your shitty little casts. Uh, when you hit level 10, um, it unlocks a whole bunch of shit. And getting up to there... It t- oh, you hit level 10, you get professions. Uh, you get access to the the auction house. You can start getting, like, uh, um, astral diamonds, which you can use to speed up certain timers in the game uh, as well as you can buy zen which is well not level 10 at level 10 at any time you can buy zen which is real world money to buy keys to unlock chests and stuff like dota and tf2 style uh, you can buy items and all sorts of weird shit there's a cash uh, shop it's free um but anyways when you hit level 10 you get something called professions which in most games is like crafting and oh i'm gonna go uh skin some animals or pick up some berries and make potions or get m- or or get or or <laughs> and then just make like armor or weapons and all that uh what this one does is something really interesting you don't do any of that stuff yourself you can still find all those items and like the ore and the charcoal and skins and leathers and all that weird stuff but the way it works is you hit one button uh, i think it's like n and then it brings up this professions ui and you hire people but it's all npcs to go out and mine and it uses real world timers which is why i say it's kind of like eve because uh say you want to make a an, um like some male armor uh, I mean, mail like scale mail or whatever. The not not post office, post office, <laughs> no office armor. God damn it, I no. can't say that one. Uh, <laughs> post office armor. There we go. Um, anyway, so uh, what kind of armor would that be? I thought you were trying to say post op. Post op <laughs> armor. Anyway, that's what, that's kind of what I. Thought yeah, I that's thinking. what I was, I was like. Oh, post office because it's mail. Oh shit! Anyway. I was making a more clever <laughs> pun yeah. than post op. It was good. Uh, anyway. So you send people out, but what's really cool is like, oh, okay, I need some ore. So you click on a dude, you're like, okay, I just hired a prospector. He's going to go out in 10 minutes, he's going to come back with two ores. In 10 minutes, the, he's going to come back with two ores. I should, I want to point out real quick that the same system is in Star Wars The Old Republic. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. not in the and... like, really good way it's implemented in this Yeah. Game. So what's really sweet, uh, I would pull it on my phone right now, but I won't. And why I say phone is because if you go to uh, your browser, which you can do at home and or on a browser. Yeah, it works browser. in like any browser. But the thing is that the browser, when you use it on a computer, it's all like mangled and the words are all fucked up and you can't really read what's going on. If you open it on a phone, it te- uses like a mobile site, which looks phenomenal and runs amazing. Uh, what happens is you can select, you can actually see everything your character has on them, uh, kind of like the WoW Armory. Um, you can also buy stuff at the auction house. You can, you can do your professions, but the professions is the important thing. So, uh, certain things can take like 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 2 minutes. Like, oh, I'm going to craft an armor. That'll take 30 minutes. Um, but certain things can take like 4 hours or more, 12 hours, 8, 18 hours, etc. Um, so if you're managing it from your phone, like I, what I sometimes do at work is it'll be like, oh, I'm going to get this guy to go uh, guard a watchtower and then he'll come back in 4 hours and he'll give experience and money and all these items to my character whenever I come back and go online. So it's every 4 hours. I just kind of quickly, you know, check my phone, hit like 2, 3 buttons, put my phone away. And uh, it's kind of cool to earn things in the game when not actually playing. And it's just this... I really like the way you level up your professions in that game. It's really, really interesting. But 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I've played a shit ton of it. The dungeons so far seem really cool. The PvP has been kind of fun. Uh, just... It's a lot better than I thought. Somebody, one of my friends, uh, skin from the channel, was saying that it kind of feels like Diablo, um, but an MMO. Because when you cast, you can't really move at the same time. And there's, I don't know, it, it, it does really feel like an action RPG more than an MMO. And it's kind of really sweet. And and the environments are really neat. Uh, the quests, I've been skipping all the text. But what's cool is it does that like Bioshock thing or or any game that has like a voiceover just kind of playing as, as like a, like a, it's not in a tape deck, but like that an thing, audio where, log. an audio log. Yeah. Except for you'll just like kind of mash your way through the through the quest text, and you're running away, and he's like, "All right, so make sure you go kill all that stuff over there because we really need." So he's kind of still giving you some storyline, and you can hit a button and turn it off too. Like you can you skip that too if you wanted to. But, but does it put it into a transmitter so that it, if you get far enough away, it still sounds like he's close? Oh yeah, no, you. It's all yeah, it's always on you. It's there's no transmitter. Yeah, okay. You yeah. just it's like somehow he's telepathically talking to you. But what's cool Wonderful. is that I've never mashed my way through an MMO through all the quest text and still managed to kind of know what the hell's going on and like being actually interested in some characters when I see them again. It's really weird. It's it's kind of not a good thing though. Yeah, it's a really good thing. Like I I, I I'm really sad that I, I dismissed why, it at first. I wonder why all MMOs aren't just audio log central. Like yeah. why? Why well, don't define? Seems like a really good way if you can just listen to the story while you're doing the like. Yeah fetch quest stuff like that seems perfect that's that's why uh, i kind of like defiance even though it's kind of the same stupid text over being voiced to you over and over and over but uh it was still nice to just kind of be driving around and then someone be like oh you should really go help these people out because they're really like in need of trouble and then you'd constantly hear them talk a lot about the same characters i'm in and trouble you'd still kind of get you'd at least get some of the story because they're, they're voicing it to you so you just you don't have to stop and read but yeah um no never went online has been really awesome uh yeah, if anybody actually, I'm on the dragon server under who, what, what username or what character name you guessed, they reach you. But um, yeah, no, no grief him. But uh, no, it's 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 been really cool. I'm 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 actually psyched to play a shit ton more of that. Uh, nice. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. But yeah. Anyway, um, other than that, I finished Sly One. Uh, that was a really sweet game. Uh, really glad I'm playing through the Sly series. I started up Sly Two. That game is way more open world um and kind of awesome i i don't know dan i know you played sly the sly series a long time like yeah. so far like right when they came out that i don't even remember it and it wasn't even like i never owned them i just yeah. played them at a friend's house okay uh, okay um yeah the sly series I did, I did the same thing with ratchet and clank games i want to try those at some point but uh no playing through the sly series and like i say all the time on my live stream is that I feel like I really missed out on a lot of PlayStation 2 games or PlayStation 1 games growing up because I went with the Xbox and I went with uh, like the Nintendo stuff. and GameCube. Yeah, GameCube. Ooh, GameCube. And I never had a PS1. I've never had a PS2. And I kind of asked people to give me a list of stuff to play and I'm going to try and see if I can work my way through them. But currently I'm working on the Sly series and uh, make my way through Sly 2 and it's pretty pretty sweet. I'm sure you should play uh, Super Mario World. Did they just re-release that or something on the Wii? Yeah, Virtual Console. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the one on the Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, I would. I would. I would. I, I played that a long time ago, though. But, yeah. Um. Okay, really random. Dan, I know way a long time ago we did a dry run of Shogun 2. And we were kinda... I, I saw that email when you went live. And yeah. I was like, fucking traitor. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's funny because we were kind of joking about it because we really didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Uh, and somebody in the channel who's also on the YouTube channel, uh, who Cal Exlam, Yep. Um, was telling Did he me go, like go back and watch that video. I don't know if he actually watched it. I know he. I know. I apparently promised him to. I promised to play with him during the marathon that we did in December. Oh, okay. That never happened. So he was like, "Dude, we got to play." I was like, oh, "Okay, fine." Um, that that <laughs> was my, that was Ugh. my thought at the, at the at start because I was like, "Man, I remember playing this with Dan, and it was just so confusing." I was like, "I don't want to deal with any of this." To be fair, um, I wasn't making any effort to learn exactly it while I was playing it. Yeah, but that Way was that, go, that's what was Dan. kind of fun because it. I don't know. Anyway, that was like a first try run. Anyway. But uh, that was my first try run. I was, oh no, it wasn't our. Oh yeah, yeah, because we already had like Syndicate and all stuff. But anyway, anyway, it was the fourth try run. Yeah, because so. you guys did Happy Action Theater, yeah. Syndicate, and oh Mass yeah, three. Yeah. Damn. But uh, anyways, fifth was Witcher two for I, Xbox three hundred and sixty. Oh, I want to play that game. It was good. Do you remember our recording equipment back then? Yeah, fucking four hundred gig file for forty five minutes oh, of Witcher two. God, that was the worst. Uh, anyway, I had to transfer it off a hard drive onto another hard drive to my other hard drive. That was fine. Fuck, <laughs> anyway, um, point is, uh, 
giving some effort to kind of learning a little bit about it, I did not realize that game is literally just Civilization with fucking way better battles. Yep. So, yeah, Devin, no, yeah. have it's, you ever played the Total War series? No, should I go buy it? You right, should great. go play a Total War friggin' game. Okay, I'm not saying buy Rome or the new one coming out. I'm just saying, like, well, try the, the, a Total War I game when it I goes I feel like sale. everything I've heard about those games is that you're meant to, like, the way they introduce mechanics is kind of from game to game. Yeah. So you play them in, like, the order they came out. Yeah, to like learn it, how to play Total War games on, on a on like a kind of just scratching the surface and just being able to get by. It's not that hard to kind of learn all the mechanics. Although, well, yeah, I'm the, sure if you wanted to devote your time to it, you could just buy Shogun Two. Oh and yeah, just oh, yeah. be perfectly happy with that because <laughs> the the like the more recent ones are more content packed and have yeah. more mechanics. So, but uh, Shogun Two uh, also had a DLC for like more blood and gore, which I bought. I forgot about. People just fucking get sliced up. There's so much blood in that game. Oh really? Like, it's Whoa. like we we had that when we did the dry yeah, run. Yeah, I forgot about how much blood. But anyway, um, playing it, I didn't realize that you could like bribe towns and shit with like, yo, you can have my daughter. It's like perfect. I'm on your side now. It's like, what the fuck? Seriously? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that sounds I, amazing. And I didn't realize that your like main. I don't. I don't. Not, I'm gonna mess this up. I'm sorry. But your main like samurai main dude. Um, you'll have, and then as time goes so by, every two. Are you trying to say your shogun? Your shogun. You're to say there you go. Yeah, your shogun. shogun. Um. <laughs> So oh my God. every two turns, a year goes by or something, so they can get old and die, but every t- few years, there's also, like, your son will also grow up, and then he's your, like, secondary Shogun dude, and there's just, like, this cool sense of, like, time going by, and it's just, like, actual generations kind of going by. It, it seems really fucking cool. I want to play, I want to play more of it, but just, like... Well, now, the thing is, is that now that you've kind of started with Shogun yeah. 2, you can't go back and play the old ones, because yeah. you'd be, like, why isn't this in yeah, here? Like, what? Yeah. But uh, same thing as so Civilization. Oh, sorry. The improvements in the uh, in like the second game and third game kind of render the first one useless. Is that what you're kind of saying? Well, well, the, how the, did they uh, go? There, there. It's like Total War. I don't know. It, it's it's like there was there was Total Shogun Total War was yeah. the very first one. Oh, was that then the it was Rome Total War. Okay. Then Medieval Two Total, Total War, War or something like War. that. I think Medieval was before Rome. Maybe or was it? But anyway, and then Shogun Two. No, 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 no. no. Empire. Was, yeah, Empire. Yeah. Napoleon. Wars. Oh wow! Shogun two. Yeah. Empire. Then, Empire is the one where they had indigenous naval stuff. I think. Yeah. I th- oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know about that one. Maybe. But uh, then I know Rome two is coming out in like September or something, or even early. I don't know. Yeah. But um, which means Devin, if you're going to get into it, they will probably have a Total War complete pack on yeah. sale. Also, at some point between now and then. Also, it's already on Green Man. If you want to get Rome two, D- oh, Devin. Heck. Devin. Anyway, just, just jump right into Rome two. Great. But uh, no, what's crazy is just like Civilization, everything that Devin's been talking about for like a few weeks now is going into a multiplayer match, and then you can save it and then come back. And uh, well, yeah, it's one of those the, things when you play just... a Total War yeah. game, you can play just one match, and that's hours and hours and days and days, yeah. and that is your well, entire campaign, and that's all you ever play of the, a Total War. The thing game. is, whenever, just the one campaign. Whenever we did the dry run, we tried Wonderful. to jump. Whenever we did the dry run, and we tried to jump into the uh, the multiplayer thing where we had created a character and stuff. It kind of threw us into a skirmish type thing. And when he said, oh, let's play some multiplayer, I was like, oh, you know, we're just going to do like one of those skirmishes, <laughs> and it's going to be that fight. Did we actually play online? Yeah, we no, we no, we tried to, but it was like that test match, and our dude leveled up, and we stopped. But anyway, it was a skirmish thingy. And then, Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we jumped into an online game at we the tried very some, We it. tried to, I think. But uh, anyway. We got fucking wrecked. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think so. Just yeah. destroyed you? But, right at uh, the end. But anyways, the uh, whenever it loaded into the map, and I was like, this is like Civ multiplayer. And I was, I want to play more. Anyway, nice. I want, I wanted to say that. And then speaking so of something. So it's like, is it like crazy turn based? Yeah, it's, it's turn based. Well, th- it's, think about, it's, you think about a crazy turn based Civ type deal. Yeah. But every time units would fight, you fight, it goes like, down into like RTS mode. Oh, fuck, man. I'm totally. And it's like. <laughs> Army. I'll take seven. We we were doing armies of like six hundred on six hundred, but it can go up to like two thousand people versus two thousand. Well, yeah, because a, like, a unit Jesus. is like and you whatever can do... troops you've combined and, into a single unit. And, and Devin, then... you can go like fucking oh, like I see the whole battlefield to like I am looking at this dude's scalp as he's like murdering people. <laughs> like you can zoom <laughs> in so far, and they That's still look really good. They're not like shitty phenomenal. Ball. I'm excited to play more at some point in my life, but um. Anyways, enough enough about Shogun. That game is pretty sweet, though. Uh, I started playing Metro Last Light yesterday. Um, I'm hearing very bad things about people trying to play it on an ATI card. Uh, apparently, it just runs like garbage. Uh, there is yep. already tweaks out there My to kind of make it yep. work, but not look good, but work. 
Hopefully that'll be fixed soon. Um, he says, my roommate, I guess, I guess he's got an API card because he's been having it run well, at two frames a second, even if he puts it all the way down to lowest, low, everything. Really? Well, the yeah. thing is, if he's using NVIDIA, there's also uh, an NVIDIA driver that actually came out yesterday. Or, uh, okay. no, yesterday, yesterday. So, two days ago. Well, on th- specifically th- for the I th- game? I yeah. I think he's on well, top of that stuff because okay. he also casts. Okay. So Perfect then. But if not, maybe you should check that out. But uh, since beta drivers, not new drivers. But anyway, anyway, point is, he's he's um, one of the two guys that helped me build my PC. Okay, he, he knows, knows what he's doing. He knows what's up. Yeah, or he's still using like a Nvidia GeForce thing. Eighty eight hundred. No, I meant like a. Oh yeah, like a voodoo. Yeah, the eighty eight hundred was such crazy shit when it he's first using, came out. Using a voodoo card. I was like quick. <laughs> anyway, um, no point is, uh. It's it's really busted Co- up, kind colored of. Colored lighting is the new innovation yeah. when he got his card. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Metro Last Light, I, I, my only issue, uh, it, it's running perfectly on my PC computer. PC gamers like that joke, <laughs> didn't you, Devin? Yeah, I did actually. My, my laughter. Um, but no, my only issue with Metro Last Light is apparently it was also in the PC version of Metro 2033, which I didn't realize. I played the one console and dabbled in it on PC. Uh, is the way it handles sensitivity? Is it will scale your X and Y axis or axes? I don't know. Anyway, uh, depending on how what your resolution is. However, being uh, the X axis takes into account other monitors that are attached to your computer. Correct. Whether or not they are running your game. Correct. So what will happen is because I'm running two monitors that increase my width by a shit ton more, even though the game's not running across both of them, but my height is still the same. My up and down goes at, I calculated it because I tweaked it and I figured out how to fix it. But I calculated it. It was like, the, well, you can use your words like a It was boy. 44% of the left and right speed. And the in-game, there's only a, um, a sensitivity bar for just sensitivity. And in the config files, there's nothing for, for mouse and keyboard. So that, or for at least mouse sensitivities. Other than like changing some weird smoothing stuff that I didn't want to do. But anyway. Um... What I ended up having to do is go into my Razer mouse settings and then change, oh, I want the X to move this fast and my Y to move like doubles more, a bit more than that. Going to the game and finally being able to play. Last Light's fucking sweet. Um, Devin, I know you haven't finished Metro 2033. I was playing more of that, but I didn't want to talk about it because I, I didn't. I got farther than where I was before, but not enough to really like okay. boast about it. Okay. Well, let me let me tell you right now, Metro Last Light, Devin. The shooting is way better. The the everything feels way better. Um, you can sneak around. It feels. I've been playing it like a fucking Splinter Cell game right now. Really? Just shooting at the lights, unscrewing lights, not getting seen. I, I played for That's about, my favorite way to play that game. I know. I played for two and a half hours last night, like a sneaky son of a bitch. No one even knew what happened. I don't think I got. I think I got shot maybe once. Really? Um. Then you fucked up. And I fucked Why up. Why are you talking about? No. Nope. But um. But no, I killed so many people, and it it'll. What I like doing is stab some dude in the throat, I ran away, lit his house so, on fire. No, I Seriously? Didn't do that, no. But I stabbed a lot. I cut a lot of people's Jeez. faces. Jeez. Um, but no, what, what's cool about that game is uh, every fight you kind of get into, it'll kind of bring you into an environment, and then you kind of see, okay, well, if I shoot at the lights or if I unscrew the lights, I can kind of sneak past everybody, not have to kill anybody, and make this go by real easy. What I like doing is shooting out of the lights or turning off a circuit breaker, which turns out all the lights in a section of the metro, and then finding a way to kill everybody so you play it like how i would play it but th- there's Murdering a method every single person there's a, a murder simulator there's a method to my madness though is that by going through and killing everybody i know i can check every corner of the map with not without missing anything so i murder everybody i lose their corpses perfect and then i can go through every door that they were possibly blocking and just find all the sweet sweet loot um which is normally bullets this is bullets and you're super excited i don't think it, that game has made me super excited to look around and find a single clip of bullets yeah um what's funny about this one is i didn't realize that certain guns use the same ammo well yep. i knew i knew this going in but i thought the two guns i was using weren't using the same ammo so when one ran out i was like sweet i'll switch to the other gun and then i emptied whatever was left in that clip and then i couldn't reload any of the guns and i had to rely on an npc shooting things as well as me stabbing things in the <laughs> face as hard as i could without dying Really? Um, that's when I started taking hits, Dan. Um, but yeah, it you, you ran out of bullets. Your story is inconsistent. Well, I got, I got shot once, and then I took multiple mutant hits. Uh, but so far, the atmosphere is fucking pretty awesome in that game. Uh, it's still a little janky on the animation side, but well, uh, it always kind of is. Yeah, but but it's it's such a good game. Uh, I don't know how long does, it is. Does it play like what you wanted it to? 
It plays exactly like how I wanted to. The thing about Metro 2033 is the gunplay kind of felt really weird. Uh, everything kind of felt light, and I told Dan, like, you're sh- it feels like you're shooting like marshmallows at people. Everyone just took too many shots. Uh, so there was a ranger mode that amplified bullet damage for you and to enemies, like mm-hmm. against you, whatever. That's, that's the only way I've played it. Mm. It's pretty good. I've actually done this one on Ranger as well, but that was a bad move because no some Death missing Ranger mode is pre order deals. No, no, no. It's it's pre order slash first run buying. Yeah, which is like all of them, but on PC. Yeah, I guess so. But, but no, actually, okay, yes. But if you go in the config mode, there is a zero that you turn to a one, and you are Ranger mode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just Woo! like that. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, or at least it was in my config. It said Ranger Mode, activate, and it was zero. And then I went to the game, and I chose Ranger Mode, and I was playing, and I went back. It was a one. I was like, sweet. Was easy. Perfect. Done. Um, I just bought it. I was like, whoa. Um, but no. <laughs> yeah, um, I own it. Yeah, so the, the shooting feels a lot better, Kumar, to the point where once I got my sensitivity fixed up, uh, I was explaining it to Dan earlier today. Like, It feels like it had like this weird connection to the game. Um, I haven't even played much of it, but for some reason, the guns feel so good that I knew exactly how many bullets it would take to kill people. That sounds horrible. Um, but the feedback that you get from the the shots how many and stabs to the neck and how many stabs that no, it's just one stab, just one stab. Um, that's what. I'm like. Obviously not. No, and then you light a fire. But no, um, but no, but no, but no. I would shoot people, and then you'd hear like a cling of their helmet coming off. But it was like so instant in my mind that I would just instantly click again, and you know, like people were going down because. In my situation, I would shoot a light, and I have four people around it, and I have to be like, I have to take all these dudes out, and. It worked well and like just perfectly to the point where I could shoot the light and then take out the dudes that I wanted to and have it just I don't know it just felt so it flowed good real and it felt well. like you really had full control over all, over the guns and stuff unlike in twenty thirty three so it feels really good I I'm I'm so psyched to play more of it um, I am told though that if you are of a younger audience possibly. Uh, there is an insane amount of titties in this game. <laughs> really? Uh, there's like brothels and like That's weird shit. That's not going to deter anybody. No, <laughs> stay away if stay, you do not. Yeah, that is a buying point now. Um, I haven't seen really much. <laughs> I'm just buying like three copies uh, right I just, now. I need them. One for each of his tits? No, okay, no, that sounds weird. <laughs> I have a third one in the middle? Why Boom. do I have tits now all of a sudden? Boom. But no, um, I've what's seen... What's happening? I've seen... Uh, nip through bra in the game so far, but it apparently as I go on, nip there's through bra. The, the bra's gone, and 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 like I don't know. You look down for some reason. And you have tits now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn yeah. radiation. But uh, also that game has some. So all the weird subtext. That yeah, I was talking about in Resident Evil. That's just they just don't use it. Yeah, it. uh, it's not like the main focus of the game. It's just trying to show that things. Things are some hard times. That sounds bad. And boobs. <laughs> all you've talked about story-wise. It's so been clearly it's the main point. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's cool. Also, there's Russian stand-up comedy, and it's not good. Seriously? <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> I, that last show was really hot. I can't believe how sizzling. Uh, anyways, our next is like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, I don't even... It's, it's pretty awkward. Didn't you say? Didn't you say you could just sit and watch yeah, the entire stand-up show for like twenty? Well, it wasn't stand-up. It was, it was a it was a theater talent show, and there's the stand-up guy introducing each act, um, which was really cool. And for a games, he's not stand-up. Man. He's an MC. Well, yeah, he's, he's an MC. That's why his jokes are bad. That, they're all fucking horrible. Um, this is not Mr. Caffey. And our next performer, Billy, 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 Billy. Anyway, uh, the. the Every 4A game, or or even in, in Stalker, and I'm pretty sure Devin can agree with this, is there's always cool guitar music. There, yeah, no, they always have <laughs> fucking the best. Somebody at that company is real good on guitar, yeah. and they just sit them in a booth and say, play. Yeah, and there's some good guitar music in this as well. Um, it's just good. It's, they just name the songs nonsense after, because one recording just for the game. doesn't matter what they're called. Yeah. This um, isn't a soundtrack. This is just this is Joe his life on this guitar, yeah. <laughs> But um, one thing I can say to anybody who's interested in getting into it, don't play Ranger Mode first unless you've played 2033 and uh, and hate your life. And you know kind of a bit of the controls or something. Or play like the first half an hour of the game to get past the tutorials, then restart and go on Ranger. Because uh, learning things such as like how to use your secondary or or wiping your gas mask without accidentally taking it off um, or just trying to do anything and then suddenly you just change your filter and it was your last one and then you just screwed yourself over try and maybe figure out the controls before you jump into ranger mode because it will not tell you any of them and if you're playing on ranger hardcore it takes off the hud entirely to the point where you can't actually open your inventory well it opens your inventory but it doesn't show it to you so you're mm-hmm. trying to choose what uh secondary item you're going to use but you can't see it 
So you're hearing the like. Can you? have no idea. Can you please tell them about four A's official response? Oh, that. <laughs> no, it wasn't about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for for somebody tweeted for a games being like, hey, if if you guys could just patch in that little the inventory up for uh, playing Ranger Hardcore, that'd be super. Like, can you guys do that? And they just tweeted back, um, live in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. So uh, that phenomenal, was fantastic. Also, they explained uh, people on the PC version were bitching that there was no FOV slider, the field of view, to kind of see more. Um, they answered back going, okay, we tried to work on getting more field of view, but we'd have to tweak all the animations to work with. Still seeing your watch, that kind of tells you how much air you have left. And also syncs with your computer to tell you your computer time when you're not gasping for air, which is awesome. Uh, so they have to change animations and have the gun be at a proper angle and all that shit. So people are complaining enough that they're going to be putting a patch out that's going to allow it. But they warned everyone, like, it's going to be broken as fuck. Your arms are going to be floating in the air. You're not going to see shit properly. Your mask is going to probably look like it's half off. Like, just, you guys can mess with it if you want, but it's going to be fucked. But they're going to patch it in uh, just to make people happy. But, nice. Uh, I'm guessing hey, the modding community will probably get on that really, really quick. Yeah, they'll probably go in there and fix it all. Um, or they'll figure out some way to tweak the field of view while still maybe, like, fish-eyeing it so it's, like, more field of view, but your arms are still in the right place. Or I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyways, Metro Last Light's really sick. And that's pretty much... I'm excited to play that. Played Star Command on the iPhone, but there's nothing much to talk about that. I want to do a drive. Zombie, what's, your, uh, what's your, your timeline on that? Are you just going to be the first one first and then jump into the uh, into 2033 or what? Uh, yeah. Like I'm... 2033 is the first one. Yeah, the second yeah. one's called uh, oh, sorry. Last Light. Uh, Last yeah. Light. Oh, yeah. my God. What am I talking about? Are you gonna be, you're going to beat 2033 and then jump into Last Light? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and the reason why I needed to redo 2033 was I got about halfway through the game. And, and then you ran out of gas masks. Yeah, I ran <laughs> specifically out of gas masks. So I was legitimately just running to like each pile of corpses and being like, where's the gas mask? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. But yeah, it was real bad. There's um, no, it was no bueno. You really want to make sure you finish 2033 before Last Light because if not, the start of the game, because um, let's just be clear about something. 2033 has multiple endings. Uh, the start of Last Light chooses one ending. And it will make sure you know what ending it chooses within like 10 seconds of starting. Because it's just like, oh, God, you, that thing is, you, that, that happened at the end with that choice. You did that. That's happened. And you're, you're like, like oh, oh, okay. They wonderful. chose that one. That's Perfect. the canon one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, whatever you did is canon. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Awesome. Last Light's awesome. Uh, anyways, I don't know if you guys have played anything else this week. Um, nope. No, that's it. News oh, that's time. So Moving on slowly to the news. Okay. Close this window. I just, I We're good. I, I, I like it. I like we the good. Close. Um, so something that was talked about like what fucking months ago that Microsoft was trying to get away from Microsoft points. <laughs> yeah. It's going to finally happen hopefully in the next About generation. Time. Wasn't that like eight months ago? <laughs> this yeah. post says rumor on it. Yeah, it says rumor. Uh, but uh, the reason they say about that is because I don't know if it's going to be on the Xbox but the thing is that there's going to be the Microsoft Store that you currently have on uh, like your Windows 8 and your mobile phone is going to probably tie in with Xbox oh, stuff. Yeah. And what you, you will be able to do is have a wallet where you can just kind of put real money into it. So it's like the PS3 where you can have a wallet, but you don't really need to. But you can have a wallet to spend across all three of those. Wonderful. You can have a wallet of Microsoft points. You have a wallet of Microsoft points. Would like to have four. I Microsoft currently have points. 50. I think I have 120. You could actually you could zero that out. Stuff costs 120. Stuff costs 80 as well, Kumar. Oh, does it? 80 is good. You get a fucking I think gamer I have point. 40. A gamer point. A gamer picture. But uh, I'm, I'm in the 50 range for some goddamn shitty reason, and I will never <laughs> get out of it. Actually, no. I think I think it was at 110, and then oh. by by some miracle of, of like, hey, here's your monthly point statement where we give you free stuff because of your gamer yeah, score. Yeah, Xbox Live Rewards. I think thing, it, yeah. I think I'm at like 150 or 160 now, or I don't know. Hopefully, I'm at a decent number. But anyway, that's if, gonna be if, gone. If you are at a number divisible by twenty, oh, that'd be sweet. That'd be you sweet. you can. Let's wait for those one sale. I'll be like, oh, that one piece of DLC for a game I don't have one twenty. Um, but anyway, I'm so glad to hear the points will probably go away. That makes me really happy. In other news, Gran Turismo Six is going to be hitting the PlayStation Three this holiday, which is fucking weird considering the PS4 is probably gonna be out. Yeah, that, that is real weird. Uh, they well, also be like the big final send off for yeah PS3 yeah 
it's okay. They put out a trailer, which I'm pretty sure is mostly pre rendered kind of looking stuff. At least I'd hope mostly so. Mostly pre rendered. It looked real good. And I don't know if PS3 could actually pull it off at 60 frames constant, but it looked good. And that's Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. Looks good. That's it. Um, so Namco. That's that, instead of saying real driving simulator, you should say it looks good. Looks good. It. It looks good. The driving looks good. Are you guys actually interested in it, though? No, or? not really. No. Um, nope. I think, I know Dan's a Forza, Forza Motorsport. I enjoy Forza as well. way. Um, I absolutely agree with you, Dan. I am going to be playing Grid 2 in like a week The rewind two. chain, does Grid 2 have rewind? Yeah. Grid 2 started that. Well, not, Grid 1 and then Dirt 2. The ability to rewind to the beginning of the race. What? Yeah. I don't know what's. I have a copy of Dirt 2. I should probably play it then. Actually, I don't know how far you can go back with Dirt. Because I've always just been like, <laughs> like, just flip back to that one corner I fucked up. But I'm pretty sure you can just hold it down and just go all the way the hell back. Great is the. has the revolutionary pick your name yeah. thing. And then it calls you by your name. Yeah. I've always wanted Grid because of that. That was in Dirt as well. Dirt 2, it started. They added it in Dirt 2. It's whatever. Really? Came, it's whatever the hell. I'm going to play Dirt 2 when I it's, get home. It's whatever the hell came after Grid. <laughs> they just started. All right, let's put all the features. Um, but I know I'm actually <laughs> excited to play Grid, but. Uh, I'm going to play Dirt 2 when I get home. Actually, I think <laughs> I have Dirt 3. Dirt 2 was really good multiplayer as well. Dirt 3 is okay. I liked it. I don't kinda. fucking care about multiplayer. Who cares about Dirt Showdown? I don't know. I never tried it. Uh, anyways, Namco Bandai is going to be. Um, Apparently advertising the shit out of Dark Souls 2 because I think they feel after how Dark Souls 1 did and it's kind of had a huge following. They're going for AAA status and they're going to just... All they said is the marketing is going to be insane. Or what did, what did they say? That there was a certain line. They're going to go guns blazing with it and hope to God that works. <laughs> that doesn't sound actually that good. No, it doesn't sound promising <laughs> at all. Okay. Hey, we're um, kind of we've never done marketing control. before, but the fans have requested it. So here we've got this, Market. this marketing thing. Oh, Mods sorry. have to fix it. There's more. <laughs> there's more. There's more to the quote. We're going to. Ho- we're go- sorry. We're going to go guns blazing with it and hope to God it works. We're going after people who love and adore Dark Souls while hopefully widening uh, the net a little. I'm not saying that every Skyrim player is going to be jumping in on Dark Souls, but it would be nice. But if the some ones of them that we did. do, they'll hate themselves that they spent the money because this game is yeah. fucking hard. You, you will hate there. the shit out of your life. Quote. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm all for Dark Souls 2 being huger because the more Dark Souls games they make, I'm happier. I'm a but happier you, person. You, you knew it before it was popular? Uh, I, I, I kind of knew it before it was Dark hipster. Souls, you know, like I knew it when it was a Demon Souls, you know. And, Souls uh, hipster. And, uh, Souls hipster. Uh, you guys. Anyway, um, in other news. I've been playing this really hard game called Demon Souls. You probably haven't heard of it. It's for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Scribble Knots is getting another game, and this one's going to be in the DC Universe, which is weird. And that's the news there. That's the news there. Yep. Wonderful. Perfect. Sweet. Um. Payday 2, which uh, I think they put out a trailer about a month ago, which I was excited for. And then I was told that two months ago, they put out 15 to 20 minutes worth of gameplay. That, like, uh, that screenshot, shit. the way your mic is standing, is blocking the, his head. Yeah. So it looks like Splinter Cell. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, but no, Payday 2 is something that I'm really excited for. They seem to be tweaking a lot of stuff on it. And uh, it's going to be on 360, PS3, and PC. Did you play well, the first the one, Richard? I played it and I enjoyed it a lot. It was only fun with a group of four people or also it was way too hard but oh, okay it was, it was a lot of fun um, yeah i did notice that it doesn't scale as well as left for dead does even though it's supposed to be that same type of like yeah my you can drop yeah. in drop out yeah. my my favorite in that game is whenever you um you hit a button to yell at somebody like somebody say you're trying to abduct someone that sounds really bad or take take them hostage <laughs> or something you yell at them and you point but each four people can just be pushing the f button and like point at them and he's like go 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 they're just all yelling like the same two possible recorded lines for each character <laughs> over and over and it's so much fun it's so hectic and awesome it's exactly like the screaming from left for dead yeah so uh anyway yeah payday 2 august i'm excited i want more of that um uh, that's yeah that, yeah that was just i wanted to uh twitch to uh, twitch to quit tw- quit titch twitch 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 dot tv is coming to the xbox 360 in fact it already is there if you're in the united states uh they have a twitch tv app where you can watch some uh twitch people twitch their thing that sounds bad <laughs> why stream their t- t- twitch channel to your xbox console and there this is go. actually the way that you are able to watch the um the xbox reveal next tuesday oh yeah. really 
It's fantastic. Are you in the Americas? No. Are U.S. of A. Then no. Then, then fuck it, because we're screwed too. Get the fuck it. <laughs> um, apparently, it's yeah. Available. You said you can still download the app, but people, then it just doesn't fucking work. Yeah, I think people said that. Either you can make a U.S. account and download the app anywhere, but when you try to load it, it's still just like, oh no, you, you can't do that. I don't know what you're doing. Stop. Don't don't play hey, Twitch. Don't, don't play do Twitch. this. You can't Twitch. No, you can't. Question for you guys: yeah. Do you know why they choose to do this so consistently? Microsoft, I I, I don't know why, but them because they're than anyone shit. Else. Oh, well, it's because of uh, the content providers don't for, work. for the broadcasting channels. On the oh wait, this is online broadcasting. I have no fucking clue why they're doing it with Twitch. It doesn't it's make so sense. so stupid. But uh, I've heard though region locked ads. No, I've heard though. However, it's because the where the streaming is going to come from, Twitch has to set up servers that will accommodate that. So that it's not using the same servers as the ones oh, man. outputting it for probably the PC. Has to convert it or some shit. Some weird conversion thing. Oh, uh, maybe. So what's happening is I think the just servers like are shitty. only. So you know what? This app's probably shitty as fuck. Then just like the it'll, iOS or it'll be less latency and less laggy than when you're trying to watch on a PC with some streams. Possibly. I don't know. Why? Point is, apparently there's only servers in the US right now, so I don't. Yeah, really but know. if they have to like do some weird conversion to it, they have to do that on the iOS version, and then you're like a minute behind. Oh yeah, the iOS and was... it looks like did, shit. Did you did you read the and newest the app iOS crashes on you oh, seven hundred times? Did in you a read row. the new iOS patch for Twitch? The Twitch app adds ads. No, it, it the, the disables ads search. No, it disables search. And what the, what they said is we disabled the search because it didn't work our last thing on on, on our last change. <laughs> also, it never works. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why the fuck was it in there? <laughs> oh god. Um, I remember never being able to search for myself too, which was horrible. But anyway, not that I'd want to watch myself. I, I had to. Curious. I had to try whenever I would try and search for your channel yeah. before their before the sign in was fixed. Uh, I had to try and remember what game you said you were going to play. Yeah, that's uh, exactly. Exactly. search that the way. Game. Search yeah. the game, yeah. Oh. Um, but anyway, so the Twitch app is coming for the iOS app is total garbage. I expect the Xbox One the same. Yeah. Agreed. So Considering the... how well apps run on Xbox as is. Oof. Yeah. Unless on the Xbox and Guess what? You can well, search with wait, that wait. shitty Netflix keyboard too, I bet. What if on what if on the Xbox Infinity if you can have your Twitch stream in the picture in picture in the top right, or you have it streamed to the wall of your living room with the Infin- Lim- Illuminati room or whatever. The the you, did you, Illuminati <laughs> room. Did you hear about how it's not actually Xbox Infinity? Really? That some some guy made like a really convincing image and news outlets just ran with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah. so cool. And it's not Anyways, that's not true at all. Like, the, in, just... the Nvidia Shield pre-orders are now okay, open, which is a, which is a controller with a screen on it for Nvidia graphics cards that you can use to play your PC games on a handheld kind of looking thing that it streams. So you just not actually got any content power in the thing. It's three hundred and fifty bucks. <laughs> it's got some power actually. You can play some mobile games on it. Um, Give me your money. But uh, three hundred fifty dollars for a controller with a screen on it uh, could be cool if you, can you are play Rim Capsule. You could probably play it as a mobile. If it's mobile, maybe. No. Nope. Um. Point is, you is can either sit on your couch and play your thing on a on a controller, or you could just hook that shit up to a TV and use a controller. I don't know. The shield. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like I have a use for something like that. But it could be sweet as hell. Uh, I could be misrepresenting exactly what the hell it is. Uh. But it is running Android on it, so it can play mobile stuff. Cool. Yeah. Um. Zombie U developers tweeted. That they had a prototype in the works for another one. Because someone was like, man, Zombie U is really good. Fuck those review scores. I really enjoyed it. And they're like, sweet. We're really glad you did. We have a prototype in development. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone said at the end of their tweet, like, is there a chance of seeing another one? And they're like, we'll see. We got a prototype in development. We can't wait to show you guys. So That's awesome. There's a prototype. I don't know if it's going to get, like, passed. Because usually prototype mean like, okay, we got to show this to the, develop- to the publisher and be like, do you guys want this? This is good. It's so, good. Like well, it. I bet you it happens just because Zombie U was like the launch yeah. game to get for Wii U. Yeah. So everyone that bought a Wii U also has Zombie U. And it was good. Despite me not having finished it or playing my Wii U, that game was probably some of the most fun and crazy moments I've had on my Wii U so far. Other than Monster Hunter as well. I guess Monster Hunter 1. But anyway. Pokemon X and Y got gameplay trailer. A gameplay trailer, not trailers. Um, Looks 3D. It looks very 3D. Um, Looks good. Pokemon X and Y. That's 3D. It's got 3D. It's good. Are you excited, Richo? I'm excited to jump back into a Pokemon game. Um, having not played it since, uh, since you know, like Game Boy Color. No, um, since so a different Pokemon game. I think yeah. I don't. I don't think I ever played the advanced Game Boy Advance ones either. Oh really? So yeah, Game Boy Color was my last one. So wow. you would have played Gold or Silver or Crystal? Yeah, Gold or Silver. One of those. I don't remember which one. My brother and I kept switching carts. But anyway, anyway. 
yeah, I'm I'm ex- I'm psyched to get back into a Pokemon game, even though I won't understand who the fuck any Pokemon are. But that, that's cool. Whatever. Well, they're mostly new. Is how they're doing stuff yeah. now. Yeah, like black and white had the original all like totally 8, new ones. Go what? Ahead. Do they still include the original, however many there are, in these the newer games, 100? or do they always just reset the entire... Uh, for the original black and white, it was a totally new, like, 150 or something. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. But for the most part, other than that one, it's been, like, maybe 50 new ones and then a mix of old ones. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one you're saying is... Including be... black and white, too, mm-hmm. has, like, some of the new ones from the original black and white and then a bunch of old ones as well. Hmm. Okay. So well, unless they're doing like the full like redo like they did with uh black and white, I think this will be a mix. That'd be cool. Cuz black and white was supposed to be like a a reboot to like a simpler Pokémon. Yeah. So that's supposed to be and then they did a direct sequel to it which gold and silver were to red and blue. Okay. So that was black and white too. So this one's supposed to be like I'm guessing ruby sapphire. Ish. I hope I hope that the next one uh, so some weirder, whenever they no whenever they stuff. whenever they do the second one of X and Y, it's just gonna be Z and hashtag. <laughs> the alphabet's just gonna end. Well no, there's only one uh they only do one like they do two games oh, yeah. that split and then they do kind of after those have sold a fuck ton, they yeah. do a third game that's like a combined of those two. Oh, I know it's right, it was black two and white two, wasn't it? Yeah, the only ones that they didn't do that with were okay. Black two no, and so two. so it's gonna be X two and Y two. Damn it! So they can't go next. No, like, no, they might just make Z. Z and hashtag. Sweet. No, just Z and hashtag. <laughs> Sweet. No, just Z. Anyways, other than that, Steam has trading cards. Oh shit! Podcast over. Oh. We're done. Oh. We're done. Anyway, what that means Internet's actually? Internet's dead. So Steam. What I what I yelled out there before we freaked out is. Steam has trading cards. What this means, they're not actual hard to hold. You can't, there's no finger handling. Ugh. Anyway, there's no, it's not hardcore. It's not actual. You don't need to buy sleeves for them. There's no, what, what is the, there's, there's, they're, they're not actual things. <laughs> <laughs> they're not actual they're things. They're not actual things. They, they are tied I thought you, you were trying to look yeah, for some I, weird word like tactile or something no, like yeah, that. Yeah, but, but no, they're just, not actual things. That, <laughs> that's what you went with. They're, they're, they're not like a hard a whole thing you can hold in your hand. They're just so they're your, not actual things. That's good. That's good. That's the sentence I was using. Um, oh no, God. They're, they're just tied to your Steam profile. Uh, they're like little things you can trade around. Uh, so far, the games that have it, I believe, are... Uh, they listed Sega. eight, I think. Eight I think different so. games. There's Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Yeah. Half-Life 2. Yeah. Uh, Portal Don't, 2. Portal 2. Don't Starve. Um, Dota. Dota. And Team Fortress 2. Yep. I feel like there's more. Uh, let me see. I'm going to check. Because you can apply for the beta right now. If you're hearing this, maybe it might be too late. Um, but uh, if you go to the Steam group for um, the actual trading card thing, you just join it. They're sending out emails with invites. And each invite that you get, or if you get in, you get three invites for your friend. So you can pass it around. Yeah. We're about to find out what games. So we have Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, Don't Starve, Dota 2, Half-Life 2, and Portal 2. Oh, that's it. Uh, as well as just doing doing stuff in your profile, like liking stuff and all stuff. Um, so what this but those does, badges get you XP now. They get you, yeah. Those badges give you get you XP and getting uh, collecting a set of cards because each each game has about uh, some games have like six cards, seven cards, eight cards, nine cards. It ranges. Um, but you can only find four cards or five cards or three cards of those other ones. You can always find less than there is. So what that has to, what what that means is that you get cards. I think it's just by playing. Um, yeah, so it's just by playing. Uh, it's just through gameplay or earned through your collecting prowess. So what you have to do is you either get them through just playing the game and then you have to trade to get the other ones you're missing. You put them together to make a badge and then that's set one. Let's say you, you did that for Team Fortress 2. That's Team Fortress 2 set one and then you get a badge for that. Then it'll do. Then it'll put out a set two, which you do it again and you get your badge to level two. And each badge, you can tie it to your account. Uh, your profile page, which they also revamped. Now you have levels, which every badge gives you experience, so you can level up. Um, that doesn't really give you much, except for one thing that I'm super happy about is it increases your friends list space every so often with the levels. So now, so now you have 350 three, friends. So slots. I have 50. Good thing. I have 50 friend slots. If you guys want to be on my friends list, go ahead and do it. Now um, is the time. And yep. I'll still probably still have to go ahead and delete people who aren't online anymore because. Yeah. Anyway, I, I don't know how often you get friend slots. I don't know if it's like at past level five, if it's you get ten per level or something. But I'll try and find out, and uh, we'll see. 
But uh, anyways, um, yeah, so you can just trade cards, you can do all that stuff, you can unlock stuff like emoticons and Steam Chat, you can unlock backgrounds for your profile, you can unlock some just weird shit, and uh, it looks really cool, it seems neat, it uh, gives you a little something extra to do. Also, achievements, I think, are shown better on your profile and your friends, and you can kind of track what other people are doing a little bit better. So it's kind of cool, I don't know, it's neat. It's easier to trade and stuff. What too, do you get when you level up? Uh, it, I don't know, I just, I, I got it, into no, the beta. No, it was... The stuff you get for leveling up, um, they, you're sc- scrolling past. God it. damn you! Profile backgrounds, oh, yeah. coupons, yeah, emoticons. Right. So uh, you get coupons or DLC for some games that you own. Um, I don't know how that own, how, how that gets awarded to you, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's um, a cool initiative to get people to know, get a little bit more involved. What you just read is for uh, actually crafting. Oh, the badges? For crafting, you get but, backgrounds, coupons, and emoticons. Oh, uh, wicked sweet. Uh, uh, but uh, there, there was something actually for leveling, but I forgot what it is. I think. I I don't know. One of them is the friends list cap. Yeah, one increase. of the, one of the, one of those is the friends list cap, so that's good. Oh, it contributes to your Steam level, a summary of your badge collection, and leveling up. Uh, da, 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 earns you non-tradable items like profile showcases, extra friends list slots, and more. So, cool. There you go. You get a Steam level hovering over your avatar. Yeah. So everybody has Steam levels now when I check my friends list, or whenever I will check my friends list at some point. Um, but it's cool. It's neat. Other than that, Rift is going free to play. Oh, really? On June twelfth. Uh, apparently there's going to be a cash shop. I think already kind of exists in the game. Um, if you already have a copy of the game, nothing's going to change. It's just free. Um, yeah, you don't have to buy the game. You just get into it. Uh, I think you can, you can play the expansion parts, but to get the classes, uh, the extra things you would get to your classes from the expansions, I think you have to pay unless you had the expansion, in which case you just have them. Um, yeah, free to play. I'm excited because Rift was really fun. I got to the max level, uh, like a month within launch and... Kind of enjoyed that a lot. So maybe I'll go back. Kind of cool. Yeah, that's it. Some Simlish code also got kind of sent out to people. People somehow decoded Sing- Simlish and it says, hey, check out E3. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> also, thank you to everybody. We wouldn't have come out, come this far without you type stuff. That's so, awesome. They're cool. I didn't know you could decode Simlish. And uh, oh, yeah, another side thing that I wanted to talk about when we were talking about Metro Last Light is uh, Jason Rubin from THQ's ceo when it used to exist, sort of, um, <laughs> was commenting on their sort of work um, conditions. And because 4A Studios is based off in Ukraine, um, it was really crappy, apparently. Uh, people, they said that one developer went home after a long day at the office and there were three armed cars parked outside his house and they're just like, you have to move. We like, this. this is, you can't live here anymore. Like they just Why? took over that building. I don't know. There's no real explanation in this. Uh, as well as the Ukrainian team. So, uh, wait, wait. Whose building got taken over? Just someone's house. Oh, uh, okay. Like, just, you have to move. Get, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Um, as well as, apparently, 4A for, for Studios um, had a super small studio, uh, which was, they compare it to uh, EA Los, Angeles, Los Angeles's gymna- gymnasium? Wow, workout area or something? Gymnasium is right. What are you talking about? Gymnasium. Gymnasium, sure. Gymnasium sounds so weird. That's what it said in the article. Anyway, the gymnasium, it's it's smaller than that, and it fit the entire 4A studio. They had shitty uh, tables. The chairs they were using were like fold-out chairs, which they said fold-out wedding chairs, which sounds horrible. Yeah, that's Um, terrible. There wasn't enough room for them to all fit, so they were like arm to arm, elbow to elbow, and just kind of like coding this thing. Um, their fa- their their power their power would frequently cut out. Uh, they had to bring generators in to kind of even give themselves heat because of the way heat is distributed and power is distributed in Ukraine, I guess. And and they they uh, compared to most big blockbuster AAA games, they had about ten percent of the um, budget that they would normally use, like those big companies would normally use, and they still managed to pump out such a fucking phenomenal game that it's insane. And um. Oh, they also mentioned that in order, if ever they needed another computer or another rig to code on, they had to get one dude to go to the United States and then smuggle the computer back through the customs so that the customs wouldn't just take it because they, like, no reason, just take it. So they had That's to, dumb. like, smuggle shit. It was, it's, that is ridiculous. it sounds absolutely freaking crazy to, um, to have to go through that and still make such an insane game. I, it's insane. It's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't even, I wanted to comment on that, or just mention that, because damn, 4A. Damn. Way to make a good game. Yeah. Anyways, that's it for news. Uh, so, um, yeah. 
New games coming out next week, the week of May 19th to May 26th. We have Resident Evil Revelations. Dan's not going to get it. Um, I didn't realize this <laughs> was anymore. coming out. Yeah. I didn't realize this was coming out, but Fast and the Furious Showdown for the Wii U, 3DS, Xbox 360, and PS3. Um, call it... Qual- I'm just like throwing words in front of my other words. <laughs> You're just like, Call of Juarez. Dyslexic today? Qual of Juarez. Qual of Juarez. No. Call of Juarez Gunslinger is coming out for the PC, which is actually something that I might pick up. I don't know. It seems really fun. Uh, it's by Techland, though. So, Dead Island. Uh, anyway. Uh, and we have Donkey Kong Country Returns for the 3DS and Sniper Elite for the V2. As well as on the PC, there's a weird co-op game coming out. Uh, it's on Steam. You can pre-order it, I think. I don't know. It's called The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. No idea what that is, but it's a co-op game, apparently. It's probably about vampires and stuff. Yeah, possibly. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for games next week. And I just realized I didn't open up the comments for the last podcast. Oh, oh, so oh I'll beat you to it. I got it. I got it. Let's do this. So. Um, so if also, to anybody who's still in the live chat, uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to have them. Heard, um, heard, heard. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'll get, I'll get us started here with to Jackson ninety nine on our last podcast podcast saying, "Are you guys bringing me as Mata back? I really love that series. Maybe I would say maybe. I know Dan well, and I have yes, but yeah. eventually. Yeah, exactly. Dan and I have talked about it. We really want to know how that game ends or what the hell happens in that game. It's just been kind of tough lately because when we go to record, um. If we're going to play Miyazmata, it takes us about an hour to kind of build up the want to play it because of, I guess, the weird freakiness, at least for me. Um, the way it's that so you much... guys scream. Yeah. At... Well, it's more like, yeah, Miyazmata is interesting, mood. but we can just jump into some Valkyria. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, just sit down just and get a that. shit ton of Valkyria recorded, so we normally end up choosing that. So we're sorry if you really enjoyed Miyazmata. It will come back at some point. Um, in the meantime, you... Unless our Let's Plays culminate in the completion of a campaign they yeah. will be back at some point yeah exactly um uh, uh, although to tide you over what i might do is i might start playing system shock 2 for let's play s- starting maybe this weekend i'm thinking i'm gonna try or friday i'm gonna just try to record some um so we'll see how that goes maybe that'll tide you over for a weird freaky kind of story intense first person game um anyways uh akumaru kicks ace says you guys should have talked about Dark Souls 2 like that. Like that nice, probably incredibly sexy blargan sniper guy asked. It would been great to hear your input on it. Hmm. So I saw this comment. That is, I don't think that's blargan sniper. Hmm. but Wait, really? Uh, yeah, but I did look. I think it's a friend. Or maybe it is. I think blargan sniper is still in our live chat. But I realized that we skipped that question in the live chat last time. Oh, really? So I remember reading it and then I remember, ah, we didn't answer this. Uh, um, but anyway, we talked about Dark Souls 2 today. That game is fantastic. So there you go, Belarus. Lo- I, lo- I fucking love Dark Souls. Wonderful. <laughs> um, Creepy but, uh, I would love to see you guys each have a crack at it. That is Devin, Dan, and Kumar. That'd be super sweet. I have tried Dark Souls. Crack. I just I played it, it too. Boring. Crack it. Crack it. Crack it. Not even it's just... Diff- it's just crack boring. Crack it. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyways, Silver Dome Production... Then asks, this shot is weirdly framed. Where is your mise en scène? What the hell does that mean? Uh, the, I guess. French. Yeah, it was like your <laughs> shot angle of like having people in. I think it's kind of like how right now we have like a V thing going on, but it's not like by choice. It's just kind of like my mic is not far enough. Then mise en whatever. French. He's got like a table coming out in front of him. and uh, Mise en French. Mise en France. <laughs> mise en France. There is your mise en scène. No, anyway. Um, mise en France. Anyway, Wesley. we have weird camera shots. I think Devin might be a little blurry. Although I just might have said that. And now you're now paying attention to that. I'm sorry. Um, Dick. Jazzmaster909 <laughs> says, Which sniper from Valkyria Chronicles do you like more, Catherine or Marina? Oscar. Also, Oscar. Yeah, I was going to say, also, where's Oscar? Uh, and also, who is your favorite and least favorite video game boss? Oh, God, I don't know. So, Valkyria Chronicles, I think maybe only Dan Oscar. and I can... Yeah, Oscar were kind of like Oscar. it. Even though we shot him off of a fucking sniper tower and he, like, broke all of his bones and it's snapped fine. his back. He's fine. He, he made it okay. Check out the next part. He'll, he's all right. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> um, anyway. Boss. Least favorite boss. There's a whole lot of them. I can tell you that much. Gears of War um, 2 is just like, what is happening? What is... Oh, I beat it. No. <laughs> but Honestly, my worst boss would be... It's not even like 
it's not even anything big. It was it's the you know Donkey Kong sixty four how they have those arcade challenges inside the game. Yeah, and you have to beat those to get the key to unlock the final door to actually fight the final boss in the game. Okay. Well, they yeah, have yeah. Orig- they have original Donkey Kong the arcade game where you have where you play as Mario and you do that jump over barrels and stuff. Couldn't beat that. That's my boss. <laughs> Fucking, you couldn't jump over the barrel. Couldn't do that. I couldn't beat that fucking game. Wow. I could. I was on the last <laughs> goddamn boss of N sixty four Donkey Kong, and I couldn't fucking beat it. I I have the cart sitting at home that probably still has that like ninety eight percent completed game on it. It's fucking atrocious. God That's damn. A shame, Stompy. Fucking original. Okay, I've got mine. You got yours. We'll go for it. Yeah. Worst is uh, Lazarevich. Uncharted 2. <laughs> <laughs> With his shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fucking. Yeah. Yo, you thought fighting the weird blue things was difficult. Dude with a shotgun. <laughs> Yo, I threw grenades on the whole map. Bitch. Deal with it. Be- beating that on, on crushing was such a friggin' feat. I am, I am at that part on crushing. I can't do it. You, you should do it, man. You should muster up the courage one day. If, if I finish that, and then do like a like a guide assisted like treasure collection. I'll have a platinum. That'll be my first platinum. Wow! Really? You should do it, Dan. You should do that on cast. <laughs> do it. Um, come on. Do you have, do you a, have f- a, 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 a? I think mine is probably Shao Kahn from just about every single Mortal Kombat series uh, because yeah, he was always just such a bitch. Yeah. Um, I you just the only in Mortal Kombat Nine, the only way to beat those boss characters is to just cheese them. That's it. Is it really? Is it just find like one move that just works and just yeah. keep doing it? Beating a uh, Garo at the end of the like the first third of that campaign, yep. it, you have L- Liu Kang, right? Yeah. So you just jump, punch, 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 jump back over him, punch, 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 just rinse and repeat. <laughs> oh, That's it. You win. Done. But it takes an hour. Um, <laughs> perfect. Because <Terrible. laughs> so Garo's got like triple health, and you still have to beat him twice. Most. That's atrocious. And every time he does an X-ray, he takes off two thirds of your health. Oh, that fuck. is atrocious. <laughs> Which builds up while you're punching him. Um, most uh, most recently, the only game I can think of that had a weird, terrible kind of final boss was the end of Sly One. <laughs> that was that was the most annoying fucking boss of, I've had to deal with in a really long time. Other than that, it would have to be a game that to this day I've never finished. Uh, for other reasons, but also because this boss is impossible, and I just can't seem to beat it. And fuck that guy. That sounded that at comma end. <laughs> fuck that guy. Let me put a different sentence structure kind of intonation on it. Um, as Slender. I've never beat Slender, and I hate that boss because really? I thought you beat <laughs> Slender. I can never get the fucking pages. Um, but. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't think of a boss that's been incredibly annoying. Skyrim. I don't know what the fuck was at the end. I remember being incredibly angry and having to throw it down to Adept well, because that, that, that fucking like, glitched bothered. on you, didn't it? So I'm so angry at that game. I was. I, I'm sorry, everybody. I fucking really hate Skyrim. <laughs> um, but well, you also played at the same time, like as Witcher Two. Yeah, Witcher Two was so... really good, but like, just there was so much. Oh, oh that, man, that yeah. Kraken fight in Witcher Two. N- never played it because I didn't play the extra version. <laughs> But Wait, yeah. that wasn't in. No, I don't think really? so. I don't think so. Oh no, 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 no never mind. The crack and fire. That's the, like the, the yeah, boss the, of the, the first the, act. Yeah, okay, never mind. I thought. Sorry. So yeah. I bought a copy. That was of a that. fun fight when you realize that was you... fun when you figured it out yeah. and weren't just fucking getting killed in one <laughs> hit over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, what you do is so good. You would like you you would like Dark Souls. <laughs> no, but... I stopped playing Witcher two because it got real fucking hard at the end. Uh, but anyway. The, the um, like really? neutral ending boss. Fuck all everything about that. So I shouldn't proceed with this right now. Get it when it's on sale for like five. Yeah, bucks. it's always on sale, on sale for like okay. five dollars. I know. I've been meaning to pick it up, but I just always keep forgetting about it. Um. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it for those final bosses, dudes. Uh, well, you, you, we only said ones that we hated, not that we liked. Your least favorite. Oh, your favorite and least favorite. Oh shit. Almost my favorite. <laughs> yeah, really. Um, oh, so it's favorite. Yeah, boss fight and least favorite boss. Yeah, fight? something from Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. That was really cool. I remember a lot of those. I was like, oh, this fuck is weak. I had my favorite one. Now I forgot. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, can't remember. You know so what? It was I, on something. You know on what I thought show. was really really cool. Something for it was actually. Uh, oops, sorry. What was really cool? Well, I was just gonna say. I I thought the. Uh, I, I thought the Poseidon fight from God of War three was pretty awesome. Oh yeah, a lot of the God of War three fights are sweet. So. What about? 
<laughs> what about something that, from like Wanted Weapons of Fate? The picture that Alchemy Reborn. I really liked that game. I know. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I have a weird, like, I really liked Wanted Weapons of Fate for some reason. I, I enjoyed it too. That was, that was like a weird kind of like, I, don't, I should hate this, but... Um, we're, the reason Dan and I are looking away here is because my my pilot games. Um, Do you have one purposes? No, I don't. I rented I, I it. I still have it. I have a copy of that game. That was back when I used to rent games. I have a copy um, of that game. You want it now, don't you? No, it's fine. I don't want that shit. Um, Curving bullets and shit in that game felt so good. The final boss and you draw a Pictionary. No, uh, no, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know for final boss favorite. But anyways, we're. If you think of it, Dan, let it be heard. I'm gonna keep going for these comments. I'm so sorry if we if we if you if we failed your question, Jazzmaster. We tried. It's a tough question. So I am Persian Magic. Uh, says man, Devin's laugh at six minutes reminds me of Joker. But if he was on the meds and in podcast 62, <laughs> you guys showed your love for me. Thanks, love you too. Group hug in the showers, boys. I don't know why I used that voice. It, was, it got worse when I yes, realized what the, just... the sentence came into. Um, but anyways. This was Persian Magic, you said? Yeah, I am Persian Magic. And uh, lo- love you too, dude. Um, Wicked. That was... I'm glad you like Devin's laugh. Dev- Devin, can you give him a laugh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that was, there you go. There you go, Persian Magic. Hopefully that uh, was enjoyable. Um, anyways, um, I am Persian Magic also asks, when when, and where do you guys stream the podcast? Uh, I'm interrupting his question because I remembered my one of my more favorite boss fights. Do it. Uh, Saren. Oh, it's Mass Effect. Okay. Because you can win that boss fight with a conversation. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Is it, wait, is hey. that your favorite or your least favorite? Favorite. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's awesome. You guys know so. what it is. Because yeah. <laughs> then he just shoots himself. <laughs> Whoa yeah. there. Games from Spoiler 07. <laughs> um, Spoiler any, alert. Anyways, going back to I Am Persian Magic's question, when and where do you guys stream the podcast? And for once, I have a question. Round of applause. Uh, I answered him back already. Why are we clapping? Because he said round of applause. Oh. Um, uh, I already answered him back. However, uh, it's we stream on Wednesdays at roughly 7 to 8 p.m. We start or something. I don't Fucking know. late. Really now. late. And, and This then, is over our hour and a half limit we yeah. were trying to do. Yeah. yeah. What, what time is it? And, uh, almost 10. Almost it's 10. almost 10. And, uh, oh, well, shit. So anyways, yeah. um, and we stream at twitch.tv slash Riccio, R-I-C-C-I-O. So hopefully that answers your question. Somebody deleted their comment. Good job. I don't, I'm sorry. We can't Deleted that. comment. We can't answer that question. Comment removed. Author withheld. Withheld. Um, Ransom Purvis says, can you do a Halo 4 game night sometime soon? I guess in the next community night we'll do, we're going to do that. Halo 4, sure. Yeah. Let's do All that. right. I'm down. Um, Alchemy Reborn. That would be fun too with a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, especially yeah, in custom matches and stuff. I had a lot of fun playing yeah. Halo 4 during, uh, except custom marathon. matches are broken. Yeah. I can't make my good ones. We'd have, we'd have to play Halo 3 if we wanted my good game modes. I make good game modes. <laughs> I'll try to, oh, no, anyway, um, Alchemy Reborn asks, sorry for the hard questions, Zompy, although I'll try to make them easier, smiley face. Uh, what GTA 5 character interests you the most and why? I'd Michael. have to go with Trevor, the balding drug addict, with a tattoo of a dotted line ra- around his neck that says cut here. Um, he seems like a fun character to play as. Who are you least interested in? Michael, the business guy, seems kind of boring to me. I don't know why. I'm, what is your favorite GTA game so far as well? Uh, I only ever played GTA 4. Okay. And Chinatown Wars, but that one was alright. Um, I'm really interested in Michael because he's yeah. like the family man that like got out of crime, but now he's going back in. Yeah. That's I'm cool. least interested in Franklin because he seems to gonna, like he's going to be standard GTA. Yeah. I, I feel like, he, I th- but that probably means he'll be all right. But, but but I feel like that's what they expect you to expect. Yeah, maybe. And then you're gonna get Rockstar hit by whatever the hell. Do something crazy. Yeah, and you'll be like, oh my god, he's a fucking alien horse, and it's crazy. Franklin kind of <laughs> looks like the kind of blankish <laughs> template that GTA protagonists like. No matter what, it'll yeah. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Trevor seems crazy, and the, yeah, that's all right. But I'm most interested in Michael. Yeah. All right. Well, I'd have to agree, I guess, with Dan, uh, Michael, and as, as the. I feel like if they let me, I'm just gonna play all of Michael's stuff first, and then just yeah, yeah that'll be it. <laughs> but no, you have to get to G- three, GTA Five is done. You have to get three chapters in as Michael. Three chapters. No, okay, uh, but uh, and then stop. Put down <laughs> oh, five man. months. Come back with Wesker. Um, but no, 
I think Michael is the one I'm most Jake's campaign for. was real good. Yeah. You're dumb for not playing it. Yet. I'm, I'm hey, uh, Michael is probably my most excited one, and uh, Franklin, yeah, yeah. Trevor seems insane. I, I, I I'm, I'm actually agree. curious. Wait, wait. So. Actually, Trevor might be my top one because he just looks like he's fucking crazy. That might be more up my alley. So, um, yeah. What about you, Devin? Um, did you watch the character trailers? Yeah, yeah we checked. Yeah, we checked. I them checked out. them out. Um, I really think that Trevor is going to be a pretty fun character to play. I think he'll have some pretty amazing stuff going on with the crazy. He's one. rubbing his hands together all weird, Devin, right here. It's kind of creepy. I don't know. He's looking deep into Dan's eyes. I feel like that's going to be good. Yeah. Whatever his story is going to be, there will be lots of explosions and lots of crazy shit going on. <laughs> so I think it's awesome. Sweet. So I approve of him. What about your least interesting character? Wei Shen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wei Shen. Wei Shen. Right. Shen. It's my least favorite Kumar, GTA character. Do you have any uh, GTA 5 opinions? Uh, yeah, I uh, am kind of media blackout with it because I'm yeah. excited for it and I'm looking forward to it. So I, uh, I I know of the characters, but I don't know anything aside from just kind of what you guys have said. Have you, have you so watched myself, any trailers? No, sir. I haven't seen a single thing of gameplay. I haven't read a single article. Really? I haven't read anything. Honestly, if you wanted to get a little bit hyped for that, and you wanted to stay no 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 it, like and you wanted to stay still kind of fresh on a lot of stuff i would maybe just watch the second trailer they put out not the character ones and not the first one yeah the second okay. one that one's a good hype trailer okay um that one's just a good trailer that one, that one's that's that's a good video game trailer mhm when does it come out again september yeah 17th oh, right. or something yeah i think so uh so the dates at the end of that second trailer get hyped so, <laughs> so let, let, I'm gonna, we're going to do something a little bit random here, Kumar. I'm yep. with. I'm going to give you numbers one, two, and three, and these are now associated with characters. Which one do you think you're going to enjoy the most okay. out of one, two, and three? Just pick a number. What? But he doesn't know. Which... It doesn't matter. Just pick a number. It'll be random. Three. Three. Okay, so you're going to enjoy Franklin the most. And okay. which one are you going to hate out of one and two? Two. Michael. He's the Oh my god, that goes against everything I have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Perfect. All right. Let's see if that's actually true. We'll come when that game comes out if I just accidentally did it. I'm uh, almost kind of worried about how Am I the only one that's mostly interested in Michael? I'm excited for him, but I think Trevor's going to be out, out there it's fucking I hard, that's man. why I like him cuz Trevor's just going to be like doing something the closest to Saints Row. <laughs> um yeah. I'm worried about how much content is going to be in that game. Watch you like finish it and the credits roll and it's just like, <laughs> all right, cool. Now season two starts. And you're just like, what the fuck? I just spent like 300 hours and that's what are you just doing now? Now I'm Franklin's daughter. I am daughter? ready for some more GTA. Yeah, yeah, I am. It definitely is time. I was and now I got to play those expansions. Once I play those, I'll be burnt out. GTA 5 is going to come out and be like, what the fuck is this piece of shit? And then I'm just going to skip it and I'm going to just play Neverwinter Online all night. I don't know. Anyways, that's it for the questions on the YouTube channel podcast comment those thing. dlcs are really good though richio yeah i gotta find my phone because i don't have tweet deck installed we did get some twitter questions in uh let me check them really quick uh we have oh my god my internet would decide to die right now dan Devin, how are you guys doing not bad perfect oh oh this is not this is not good i oh, there was a there once was a time where we had tweet deck. I don't I don't like how I got notifications. Can I just read them off? No, the notifications are gone. All right, I'm going to have to try to figure God out damn something fool. With, the, with the Twitter for a second here. Um, so looking in the, in the channel, we had some questions. I'm going to read those off while I'm getting my Twitter here to work. Um, Draclo is asking why I'm not playing any more scary games on cast. They'll be coming. They'll be coming. He played uh, Metro yesterday. Worry, Draco, he's, waiting for, uh, he's waiting for Outlast, remember? Yeah. LS, right, because I'm going to buy you that game. You can't. Don't. Please. <laughs> please. Because if you donate a game to him, it obligates he him has to, to play, play it. it. Yeah, yeah no, that's, exactly. That's, that's not how it I'm going to buy you that game, Richie. You know? if, if someone else hasn't gifted it to you by, you know, like a week or something after it comes out, I'm, uh, I'm buying it for you. Twitter's fucked is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter live, tw live reporting. <laughs> Twitter.com. Is straight fuck. All my mentions are not re are lo loading, so we're gonna keep 
going on these questions here. Um, we will answer the Twitter questions next week. Apologies, everyone. Yes. Uh, yes. Let me try. We're going right to the source. No, not using apps. We're going to sign in directly to Twitter here. I oh, always browse buddy. Twitter from the website. What do you... And why the fuck do you check mentions? How do you check mentions, Dan? Dan, connect. Yeah, like it's, it's the same everywhere. It's not. I don't know. There was some... Twitter is fucked, everyone. Unless, no, I don't. It... I don't even know. Twitter is fucked. Twitter. We we Sorry, really <laughs> via text message. There you go. We're trying to check. Maybe it's on Unity one. It's not. It's. Nope. Twitter is fucked. Twitter is fucked. For the eighth time. We're sorry, Headhunter, in the chat. If you want to sorry. Uh, ask your question in the chat, we will read it off. No problem. Uh, he says, how long is Mark the Ninja? Oh, like four or five hours. Four or five hours. It's not long. Uh, and his Twitter question was, what games have you invested the most time into? Binding of Isaac. Sadly, World of Warcraft. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. World of Warcraft. I don't want yeah, okay, yeah, to talk about it. Yeah. I don't talk about it. <laughs> Actually, Minecraft. Advanced might be. Wars. Oh. Say Binding of Isaac for myself and Mass Effect, actually. Okay. Uh, World of Warcraft, with, followed by Binding of Isaac, I think. I'd like to follow that up with StarCraft 2, hopefully. Invested? Weirdly, mine's probably Borderlands 2. Yeah. I looked, and I've got like 60 hours in that game. Really? Wow. Maybe 80. I can't remember. It's a high number. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I like how you say, you say high number, then Devin and I both know it. What World of Warcraft? Oh, you done. think you? <laughs> oh, my Advance Wars hours are sixty gigantic. hours. That's a lot. Yeah, Dan. No, yeah, for like a weird, weird large amount of time. Forty-eight days. My Advance Wars is pretty close to that. That's on one character. Do you guys ever use Xfire? I have six. <laughs> so I used to use Xfire. <laughs> think of how Back much money day, that cost it. you, Devin. What? Think of how much money that cost you. Advance Wars cost me thirty dollars. So. <laughs> <laughs> my my World of Warcraft stats on X Fire, which is way back in the day, a chat client and stuff. What the fuck? Um, and that is before I turned off X Fire for two years, <laughs> and I was still playing World of Warcraft, <laughs> and I have two thousand three hundred and thirteen hours of it, which nice. isn't even that much. Because I think on some characters, I'm like twenty to thirty days or something. Yeah, it's just like how did huh? huh. surprise? Yeah, you have no life. It's horrible. Although I'm pretty sure at least like three or four of those day times. Full 24 hour periods of three times uh, was me just sitting in the menus. I really want to look well, at my advanced horse stat. It got really, it got to the point really badly where I started playing Peggle while in World of Warcraft. Oh, wow. Because you could get like <laughs> yeah. Peggle and Bejeweled apps. Yeah, it was the same Bejeweled. The too. inside yeah. of like when you're yeah. waiting for raids to pick up. So if I wasn't doing anything, I'd just be hanging out in Orgrimmar or Dalaran playing Peggle. Those are like old ass towns now. I don't even know the fuck the new towns are. And Pandaria's. Pandaria. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I think that's it for questions. Uh, I can't see any more on the channel. I can't see any more on the YouTube. And our Twitter certainly can't see anything. Twitter is fucked. Yeah, we're sorry. Ninth it time. As if it went down now. Anyway. Anyway, so to everyone who's watching, if you guys have any questions you'd like you us to answer. You didn't know Twitter shuts down at exactly 10 Ooh. p.m. Eastern. Ooh. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. Of course, uh, so every, everyone knows that. S- send your questions to the YouTube channel comments for this video. Apparently for not the Twitter. Yeah, because at least we'll read them off the YouTube, if because we'll be able to see them. Uh, if you're listening to us on iTunes, don't forget to rate. Now that we said that, YouTube goes down. <laughs> don't don't forget to rate and uh, review uh, the podcast, um, as well as yeah. If you're watching, if you're listening to on U- on iTunes, check out the YouTube channel. We have let's plays, we have first impression videos, which are dry runs. We have this podcast with video. You can see our faces. Maybe they're not good in what you expected, but you can see our faces. And um, yeah. I think that is pretty much it. Thank you all for listening and watching, especially you guys in the live stream. You've been amazing. And I guess I've been, I've been, yeah, as always. I, I've as been Richie. I've, I've been Dan. <laughs> I've been Sompy. I am Kumar. And we are wishing you all a fantastic Kumar, whatever time Kumar of lives day it in is. the present. Kumar <laughs> is literally standing right behind you right now. Don't turn around. No, no, no. He can't see you. Don't. If he knows. If he knows. I'm not a stalker. 